Well, Swanee in the lower left, in the blue, it is our terror player. Give it up for Duffy. Let's go. And in the top, right hand side, with the beautiful olden style Nexus. You'll mm. love to see it. He's a hero. It is Spartacus. And he's going to do the, the Reaper wall, which is interesting. I, I, I don't really do this myself. Yeah, I've heard a lot of back and forth on it. I know some pros like it because it helps, obviously, stopping Reapers. But at the same time, two tanks at your third and you lose your cyber core. The thing is, what? yeah, once the game gets going, this can be abused really easily, especially if it's a drop heavy type of play from the Terran. It's it can be challenging, but I make it does. I don't want to say simplify the early game, but it do, it does help against the Reaper because yeah. that first Reaper can be quite problematic depending on how you want to play this out. I've, I've found that if you wall around your gases, so you put like your pylon next to your nexus and then a gateway next to your gas and then a cyber core behind it. You can stop the rotation around your mineral line, and then it's just, you know, adept at the ledge, stalk over by your ramp to your natural. Yeah, I always build the wall over exactly. You put the pylon, like, Wait, between no. your gases, you put the gateway to the left of this gas here, and then you build the cyber to the right of the second gas that Spartacus hasn't taken. Right, yes. and it works out really well. So, double gas already, and it does get scouted here. The probe does get trapped in here, so this is feeling like... Feeling like mines to me. The oh, extra gas. Ooh, mm, Ooh second, second barracks. barracks. Some sort of delayed 2-1-1. Oh, Ooh, a no, third. it's a three racks. No. <laughs> Never doubt the three racks. This isn't a three ra three racks three racks though. Well, yeah, it's not a traditional three racks. I'm curious. This is like a one base play. This is gonna be it's gonna be interesting. Yeah. Could be just a nice little one base all in. You're huh. right. He pumps out a Hellion. Second Reaper. And I'll let the shade finish. Doesn't quite get the first Reaper though. I like Thanks I play TVT here. I really like. Spartacus going into the robo here, though. I think that's the right play with when you see the double gas like this. Yeah, I think robo is a really safe option, generally speaking. Obviously, blink is a very standard option. So you go twilight, you get blink, you charge. I think robo though is safe for a lot of things that Terran might do. Marauder heavy, mech heavy. You know, you get your your immortals. You can get an observer. You can go check, you know? Yeah, I think the big thing here is that you get the observer, you can see what's going on because, you know, there should absolutely be a CC here, and there's not. You saw two gases, no CC. Something's up. Now, the adept in here, he does see Hellions, seeing multiple Reapers. And there's a five Reapers. So, this is just Reapers and Hellions off of Naked Barracks and Naked Factory. So, put some clothes on. God. Yeah, this is just Twitch doesn't want this. <laughs> it's like a it's like a watching a ladder game here. What this is very interesting. But this is gonna hit hard though. What's oh, funny man. though is the Reaper wall actually is huge here. Oh it, yeah. It prevents the Reapers running around. Like actually the Reaper wall might be a huge deal, but this is so much It's funny because you don't think of these as like high DPS units. But, but they hit a critical mass. Hit. Yeah. Oh, oh. That green battery is just a bit late. I I think it's okay. I think he was delaying it on purpose. I'm not sure if he didn't have energy, but it seemed delayed on purpose. Yeah, now, so we're only minus 14 probes. Oh, 13. But Never they're mind. pretty even on workers, which I know is not ideal. You want to still be up on the Terran. But the follow-up here, I mean, the second CZ is just finishing. Right, Spartacus is going to be able to yeah. chrono out probes, but... The bigger issue is that now you just walk across the map. I really hope Spartacus just walks right across the map. Maybe he's going to wait for this warp prism, but this counterattack is going to be... really strong. 
The Observer's gonna see what's going on. It'll see a tank, which is gonna be, you know, gonna make this tough, but man. Yeah. It's a strong army. Hope a Reaper's still alive, just scouting around, see what they can find. Definitely just looking for a third base going down. Yeah. If you're not careful, the Reapers can try and snipe off, like, the sentries. Yep. And the other huge thing here, I think, is that uh, Death, you got the scout that is just Robo, no Twilight behind it, at least when he was in there. So Blink is not something he has to worry about yet, because obviously the build time of the Twilight plus the build time of Blink. So he can avoid having a tank in his main if he doesn't need to right now. Yep. He just has to worry about the prism. And this is some really solid harass here coming out. I would like to have seen him maybe try to drop these stalkers over by the SCVs and get off the pick. Pick off the SCVs, because four stalkers will one shot an yeah. SCV. Oh, I don't know about this though. This is really great. Really bold to be up here without blink. Yeah. I mean, this all comes down to Prism Micro, and it is not looking. Ooh. There's some neat pickups here, but. It's fine, but it's. What did he achieve? He killed a supply depot and damaged two more. Killed off a couple of reapers or marines. Lost well, a lot of soccer's, which is pretty not great. I don't know what the sentry's doing. This looks like a misclick. Oh. Aw, poor sentry. He tried. Yeah, Duffy's got the tank positioning, and they'll follow up on this on point though, which is exactly what you want. But third base is down for our Protoss player. Charge is on the way. I, I I think I like the charge follow up here. Yeah, charge will be very nice for what Terran for presumably the next really heavy push. Looking oh, no. really marauder heavy. Yeah. But the army differential is Ugh, gonna feel it. Yeah. Terran supply very good. <laughs> Terran supply pretty good. Where do we go I think from you here? Pump out a couple of immortals. Sorry, <laughs> no. not answering your question. No, you're good. That's it. I just want to know what what is Spartacus going from here, right? Forge, Robo Bay, probably going to Colossus. Makes sense. But this push, I would say, Marauder heavy disruptors would be the play. But I think right now you need an immortal, maybe two, because immortals are really just gonna pull apart these um, marauders. Because otherwise, the Marauders are just going to eat you alive. They'll just be able to kite. Well, actually, not much yet. I thought the Tesla Shell was done, and it is not. But... Tries to catch the Terran army on Siege and almost does it, but just doesn't quite have the overwhelming number of Zealots that you would like to make that happen. Warp Prison trying to come in and get a Warp in here at home for some very solid harass. Wow, uh, some pretty cute micro there from Duffy with the bunker. Yeah. <laughs> There's only one medevac. But this is fine to bleed right, four zealots on. here. You get a couple SCVs, but more importantly, it buys you time and the turn army turns around. Yeah. And you can see Spartacus starting to be way up on the worker supply here, so he's been probing very hard. Oh, currently supply Paris. blocked. <laughs> Classic. But it does look like it's Colossus on the way, which I'm not surprised since he went Zealot heavy. I think if he had yeah. gone into Blink, I could see him going straight to Disruptors, but it's pretty common to start with get two, three Colossus, and then get a fourth base, yes, second Robo, start pumping Disruptors like that. Just the the charge lots and, and pure charge lot disruptor, they just they don't work as well together. I think in the yeah. smaller numbers. But yeah, as the game goes on. Yeah, you need disruptors. Good scan. Let's check in the army. Storm. Storm is gonna be our big splash here. Storm will be nice. It won't be in time for this push though, but I don't think that's the point. No. 
ghost coming up here. So um, these Archons, uh, they're not going to fare very well. It's not the overwhelming ghost numbers yet, but still pretty good. Yeah. A lot of tanks though, and definitely going to be able to get into some good positioning. Got a couple mines spread as well, so very good armor oh, shred. Beautiful anti-armor. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, and Spartacus just isn't able to take the fight that he wants, and a lot yeah, of his army gets punished. With, this is the biggest issue with charge lots, is that at some point, Heron Bio will just delete him too quickly, no matter yeah. what. The DPS of Skim Marines is just too high. Yeah, it's the challenge, like, I've been playing a lot of Phoenix Zealot to open lately and it's really good but there's a point where the bio ball becomes it's not enough you have to get into rubble yeah. units hey look and this is what we were talking about just like you're saying <laughs> this can get bio punished uh, the widow mines right. but the tanks oh. are very exposed now because the army picked up oh but just still not quite enough army to clean up these tanks yeah, and This is GG. Unfortunately, I think it's not going to be quite enough for Spartacus here, but he's going to take what he can, but... Gonna call GG. Spawning in the lower left in the blue. Up 1-0 in the series. Give it up for Duffy. Let's go! And in the top right, with the red probe and the classic Nexus and the hero's icon. They're all heroes. It's an in-house. I get it, guys. But let's see if he lives up to his title. It's one base all in, a.k.a. Spartacus. I'm curious if we're going to see that double gas play from Duffy again. That's what I'm what curious we were talking about. about. This is what we were talking about last game, where you block off the rotation path with yep. your SimCity. And then you can build the cyber core above the pylon here. This is how I always do my sim cities like this. It is double gas. And it is double gas. Oh, and I think he's going to block off here too. Yep. Nice. Although so... the thing is though, is by blocking it off, you tell him that it's going to be an early factory. Because otherwise you'd be going early command center. Generally speaking, right? Generally, it just it adds a... You A don't know what's going on, but what you do know, well, the only thing is like, you could do this and still just go like Reaper Expand and build a high ground CC, but that's like really mind gamey and just like really inefficient. But the point is like, you just, you can mask what you're doing. Yeah. It's just, just, it makes it really uncomfortable as a Protoss player. I struggle with, I've gotten better with this stuff now. Because whenever I see double gas, and especially if they block off, I open Robo. It's a really good video from Probe, if you've never watched it. I highly recommend it. Ooh. Where he breaks down something Hero did in the GSL against a double gas opener like this. And it's, um, it's pretty great. But, as you said, early factory. No surprise there. Yeah. With that two gas, I mean, you got to spend that gas somehow, you know? Yeah. The factory it, just happens to be the easiest way for Terran. It's just, is he going to... Okay, so he's going to go into Widow Mines this time. He's still pumping Reapers, or at least a second Reaper. Okay. All right. So we'll probably get one mine and then switch. So we'll do a three mine drop, if I had to assume. Or are we just going to do three straight mines? Nope, I think this is just going to be a mine. Yep, a mine drop like this. There's the CC in the low ground. He just opens with two Reapers, which is interesting. Yep. I still open Twilight, so he's still doing the Twilight Oper, which I which is which is good. Which is good for Spartacus. He's not gonna get punished for this. This isn't yeah. like a one base like marine tank push with a liberator or something. Though. So. Although for what Deffy saw is all he saw was the robo at the front. He hasn't seen the twilight in the back yet. 
That is correct. So this charge is going to come out of left field. Oh, he's Ooh. going charge, Unless though. Unless he dives. Charge is interesting here. I assumed he would have opened Blink. Yeah. Interesting. Blink is definitely your standard. Yeah. Still didn't scout the Twilight. Yeah, so... Oh, this, this could be very bad for Deppy What's... if he's not careful. Is this Widowmine in the very middle of the map just waiting for the Adept to come across? No, it's not um, burrowed. He rallied it across from there. I don't know. I mean, Maybe I could see that. Because sometimes Herons, that when they open like this, they'll put like the first little mine like just outside their natural to get the adept, which, you know, which is good. Yeah. It punishes you if you're not paying attention which, to your adept. We're only dropping two mines. Yeah, this is interesting. There's one just chill in the middle of the map. There's one at home. The second one on the way, just pumping marines from a reactor. Oh, this is a weird build. Spartacus is, is cloaked mines. Spartacus is just going like a straight up charge lot all in. Yeah, he's going eight yeah, gates. A lot of gates. Yeah, this is a yeah, this is just a two base charge lot all in. Ooh. Not living up to his name of one base all in, I guess. Not at all. Very good splits. Beautiful. Oh, he tried to walk uh, in that mine at the front. Okay. Oh. Very nice. If he had done it just a moment later, he could have gotten the prism with it. Hmm. <laughs> so what's the Luke plan the from here? The third. Takes more than two to tango, but the reapers disagree. Oh. Are we gonna catch us? All right. So the medevac will see the zealots, but I did not see the prism. It's very awkward. They both are like seeing each other. It's that Umbrella Academy meme where they're both driving yeah. by each other and they're like, well, neither of us can Wait do anything. I don't know what these other zealots are going to do. They go to the front. Oh, yeah. we're pulling all the marines into the main. Oh, these five coming in the front are going to have some fun. Oh, dude. Duffy and his oh. and his tank placement is so good. Oh, that tank is, yeah. Getting to that is going to be a pain. No, it's very purposeful. This is very good. Silent Hills, Sim City. Yeah. Oh, oh the, <laughs> the widow mine drops. Oh, and the widow mine drops at the same time, taking out oh. eleven SCV. Who targeting oh, the warp chaos. prism? It's chaos right now. Does look. I don't know. All right. I think a lot more probes went down than SCVs. These zealots are going to get yeah. some work done. But we are still mining off two bases for um, Spartacus. Yeah, that's the problem. Broadly speaking. It's the bro it's two bases in the most broadest of ways, but... And it's just about having those workers spread out. Yeah. I guess these charge lots are just getting whatever they can get done. They supply blocked, Steffi. That's always nice. Four more probes went down, unfortunately. Yeah, cloaked widow mines, man. Pretty good. You forget about them for a second. <sighs> well, <sighs> this is an awkward spot. On strike. This is a really awkward spot, though, for for Spartacus. Yeah. What do you do when you're all in fails? Yeah. But you got but some damage done. But you got, you definitely got damage done. But you're evenish on workers. Try it again? I don't know. Ah, oh, this tank, this tank placement, it is just beautiful in the Sim City. Man, yeah, this Sim City is this phenomenal. Is so good. Like, so it's not good. great for your units getting out, but it is beautiful for Zealot trying to get them to stop Zealot from getting in. Perfect. This is excellent. But Stim just starting now, though. Defisec is way heavily delayed at the same time. There's no third base yeah. coming up for Deffy either, so... I don't know what the plan is here. Yeah, this, this game is, uh... This game just got to a really awkward spot. Uh, you've seen a Raven already, so it's not like you can build DTs and be reliable. But you've seen a lot of Widow Mines, so Charge Lots... Continuing to pop out Charge Lots is, like, not great. So yeah, just take a third base. I... 
Yeah, I mean... Probably do this and throw it on a Robo Bay and get Colossus. I think that's... Yeah, I think that's... Colossus would be the play here for sure. I think that's what you do. Forge, great. Yep, he'll start mining his other gases. Spartacus has got some gas to spend, so... I mean, I think it's fine to keep pumping charge lots. Throw to your probes. Oh, he's gonna go into Storm. I want to see Storm drops. Also Come a good in, play. Storm the mineral line. Run away. Would be good. Oh, where did I just hear... Oh. Yep. I was like, where did I just hear the Widow Mine burrow? I didn't see the, the natural. It's interesting, because... Good pull, and then putting the probes to take the shot, but then Duffy unburrows, so both both basically being perfect about it, but yeah. See, this is what I ran into with Duffy playing him too. He was very good with these Widow Mine drops. Oh, oh yeah. What a cute spot. Oh my god. <laughs> it's that one. I think at this point, might as well go for Drilling Claws, right? I really like the cannon. I know like it's not preferred, but when you're seeing I, continued drops like this, like I it pretty much just shut this point. It just shut it down. Like this just made this so much easier. Yeah, especially when they're cloaked widow mines, you just I think you need the cannons because otherwise you're never gonna get them out because you're gonna have to micro your observers around and it's doable. Yeah. I think realistically the practical option is just a cannon. Oh! Whoa! Oh, not so bad. Oh! It could have been worse. It could have been yeah. far worse. That was almost absolutely tragic. But here comes the push. Oh, big anti-armor missile. Gets almost every unit. Uh, look yeah. at this positioning the with the tanks. Safe. I don't think we have enough here. I don't think there's enough. He's got no splash. This, you really need Splash to deal with this army. Yep. Like, it's just not nearly enough. The Widow oh. Mines. <laughs> yep. The Widow Mine deletes the entire Zealot Force. Widow Mine on the high ground hits the Mineral Line. The utter disrespect. Yeah, it's just... Widow Mines, man. The GG. Alright. In the bottom right of Moondance, in the purple, making his... TVT appearances, Matt. This uh, this in-house, give it up for Duffy. Let's go. And in the top left-hand side with the eagle, mm. Duffy doesn't have an eagle. Get mm. out of here, Duffy. With the red SCVs, give it up for the Uno bomber. Guys, he's allowed on planes. I promise. Uno you know, bomber is gonna live up to his name in this TVT. I think. If he goes Banshees, I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Uh. Alright. So I'm going to go take a nap. I'll be back in like 20 minutes. And then we'll start the cast then, right? <laughs> the problem is, I just don't know TVT very well. This looks standard though, because it's like... I think it's really standard to open, I think it's like three three Reapers, two Hellions, and pressure that, and expand, and then get into, you know, your tanks and marines. And then I think yeah. it's also a choice of what you want to do with your starports of, like, getting multiple Ravens versus getting Vikings, so I kind of have an idea. I just, like, I don't know builds, and I don't watch just never learned it so that's kind of what yeah. i know about tvp <laughs> so your primary difference is um early game you can um you, the standard is to go reaper hellion obviously the alternate option though is to build a widow mine <laughs> instead of your first hellion that way you can stop any sort of aggressive pushes okay depends on how defensive you want to be yeah i could and see then... that you could probably put it especially in like moon dance here and that's little choke near the natural this would probably be yep. a good spot for it and then mid game it's um for your starport it's either you're gonna either go heavy heavy uh ravens or heavy vikings 
depending yep. on if you want ground or air control, basically. Fence. And it all, it basically come down to, oh, this guy's got more Vikings than the other guy. It, it's Muta fights, basically. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's just Muta versus Muta. Well, I feel like Deffy's doing what he did in the last game. He's built three racks and one factory, uh, and he's pumping Reapers and Hellions on naked racks and factories, and he hasn't built a CC. You see, this is the kind of shit why you build a Widow Mine. <laughs> a Widow Mine makes this build, like, so much harder. If Uno just is like, here, here's a Widow Mine. Done. Yeah, this is going to be interesting, because if this, this is going to hit, like... The so Defies is going to hit much harder, but I guess it depends, like... See, there's a tech lab on the way, right, for the, this factory? Yeah. For our Unabomber friend here? And it, is he going to build a tank right away? I'd assume he would. Maybe he goes into a Cyclone, which would be okay. A Cyclone would make sense, yeah. But a Cyclone would make sense. But a tank is actually, I think, really what he'd want. Well, maybe... The Reapers are mobile and could get up. And the tank, I don't know, it depends. But I feel like a tank would really tank. be strong, though. Tank would be nice, but it's, it would be hard to defend. The cyclone, the cyclone's the anti-everything. Like, it'll kill one of anything, basically, if you're good with it. Well. But I think he's going to see this and be like, wait a minute. That's, that's, that's not right. Why do you have so much more than me? All right. The ultimate shape. The concave doesn't matter when you just have less. But you have to do damage, you know, as Duffy here, right? Yeah. Or just outright win the game, but you have to, like, you have to do Uni. All right, Raven is out. Oh, Cyclone's dead. Cyclone goes down, which is huge. Good turret placement, but Duffy's getting some work and here done comes here. That tank. That's, I mean, you just imagine a tank had been sieged up top, though. None of yeah, this would right be possible. Like, none of this would be possible. This is GG. I don't want to say this is GG, but this is kind of GG. I... I don't know if it's GG, because, like, this is a whole army. I mean, definitely lost most of his army, though. He's built it back up. Well, I mean, just... But he did a lot of eco damage. But his command center's or orbital command is just getting started here. So I think it depends on the follow, but nope. you have I think it's the thing is to consider though is double the workers. Yeah. We're mining both gases, we're saturating the mineral line, natural starting up. Look at the main base for Uno. It's two There's one on gas it's and then sad. two mules, yeah. Sad state he's of affairs. He's not going to be able to produce any of these mid. He's not going to be able to produce tanks, let alone anything else, because of the gas requirement. He's, he's got some ravens, which is going to be really important, though. Let's see if it's enough. But definitely has a really nice transition because he already had the three barracks, right? So now he just adds two reactors and stems on the way, and he probably pushes with stem. I'm going to guess. Yeah. I think he knows that he's in a good spot, and it's just, all right, instead of trying to push and then overextend, just sit back, build up a good army, and then go win the game, you know? Yep. I think Duffy's going to use his small eco advantage he had. I mean, the worker count is starting to narrow up just a little bit yeah, here. Is... Duffy's just ply blocked. That's not good. Mm. Unabomber is building Vikings, which I I like. I really like that. I think it's going to be the more defensive play. And I think it's what, what he's going to need. Oh, that poor tank just ate two tank shots. All right, he's poor got Marine a couple Vikings here. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's scouting forward, so. Yeah. But I mean, you know, right. this, this is... I, I like this. I, I think Unabomber is... Thinking the best of his situation here. The TBT experience is just hearing the scan sound for hours. Yep. 
I think Duffy, yeah, I think he's just gonna turn around. Yeah, you gotta be careful with these D Matrix. They're not. Dear God. My brain, <laughs> I'm so tired today. I apologize, <laughs> guys. The um, interference matrix. Oh, you've been casting some brood war, so. It's it's a real starcraft. <laughs> oh! Yeah, D matrix is a real thing. D matrix oh. is a real thing. Does get a raven, which is nice. But now he's gonna feel pressure to get that oh. his opponent's raven. Deffy shot his own tank there for a bit. <laughs> an A move, right. I know. I use a move like all the time, so I, I it definitely <laughs> happens. I really like the choice of the Vikings. I, I, mm -hmm. I think that made all the difference in defending this push. Here we go. Oh, one interference matrix goes down. Why are we targeting down the tank that's interfered? We want to target the one that can actually kill you first. <laughs> well. See ya. Vikings destroy tanks, but Ooh. it's just not enough. Doesn't quite get that one last tank. Could be just a oh that turret. Target the tank. Oh, very nice oh. targeting the tank with the turret. All right, this gets cleaned up, but once again another 13 workers down. And reinforcements, all five of them. The difference now is the reinforcements are going to hit pretty much right away. Run, men, run! And at this point, he's just rallying across the map. Yep. F2, stim, I saw that. <laughs> the classic Terran way. Stim's pretty good. Marine's pretty good. Name a more iconic duo than um, F2 and Stim. Yeah, I think Duffy's just gonna slowly whittle down. I mean, not if he keeps donating units like that. I don't want to be doing that, I guess. <laughs> the Viking didn't want none of that. Liberator got a little bit of damage from Unabomber. Four kills, but... Just slows Zico down a little bit. But Unabomber, I mean, yeah. despite all the workers that are... I mean... He's lost 47 workers this game, and he's only down, what, 11 workers right now. So, Unabomber has been on top of his SCV production, despite this game, so... Alright. Splitting up the, here. What um, is the units lost thing, where you can see all the units that have died? Shift L. For that. Shift L. That's what it is. Yep, I keep shift thinking L. It control L and it wasn't working, and I'm like, the hell is this button? No, oh, shift L. Really good. Love that tab. And Duffy just trying to split up here, and I think this oh. is finally going to be the killing blow. Gets right on top of the tank. Beautiful play by Duffy. The spot in the lower left in the purple. Up 1 0 in this series. Give it up for Duffy. And in the top. Right hand side of Frost. I mean, inside and out. Whatever, Blizzard. <laughs> it is our boy in the red SCVs. Uno Bomber. That was like two or three months ago. I was casting something with a Madman. Um, All right. It was some tournament. And we cast the Naji game, and it was a PvP. And he just like doesn't research Warp Gate. And he's just pumping like yep. robo units. And he just <laughs> wins. And it was just like, what? Madman and I are just, we're just laughing the whole game. This whole fucking game, we're just laughing. It was so funny. And then he just wins, and it was absurd. He had like Colossus, Portal, Primalist. Oh, Primalist Protoss. Cool. Thank you, Lock Lock. Um, oh. It was just so funny. I just, he's, he just, he's fucking, he's chaos. I mean, you listen he to is, him. I mean, he got his own, he's got his own shit posting channel. He's. Uh, I always refer to him as the infamous Najee with his own channel. He is. He's not always the hero we need. He's not always the hero we want, but he is a hero nonetheless. Yo, what? 
SCD. Oh, he's just looking for. Yeah. Or is he drops down to Starport? Like, hmm. All right. It looks like there's a PVZ on the other, as the other match on this side of the bracket. So, no more TVT. Ideally. Excellent. Or at least not next round. Uh, machine guns. I love PVZ. I'm lost in it right now. I think it's my favorite matchup. <gasps> PVZ is a lot of fun. I think you can... It's because you can do just about anything as Protoss and have a competitive game against Zerg. There are better options, obviously, Stargate. But you open Robo, it's fine. You open Twilight, it's fine, you know? I don't think you should open Robo in PvP. But that's just my opinion. It's like uh, opening I Robo in PvT, though. Other than when it's like a two-guess, one-base thing. Yeah. It's just the... It's good. Robo is just really good when the game gets going. Yeah, I I guess you don't really open Robo by itself. You'd probably Robo Twilight usually, but... Yeah. I don't know. I, it helped uh, me against a roach all in. When I had Immortals, and he showed up with a bunch of roaches, and I went... Oh, that's hilarious. Bye. Yeah, I guess I can see that. But, of course, that's all based on scouting information you can get. Not really right. a standard... It's funny how every game of StarCraft really is unique. Yeah, and Deathy takes a very nice engage. Yeah, this is not... Oh, <laughs> that's not a great way to start the game. Very solid engage. Alright. Straight into tank. Uno learned from last game. He's like, fuck that, I need a tank. Tech lab on the starport and factory for Deffy as he pushes right here. Trying to get on top of the cyclone. Bunker will be cancelled, but walls go up. Ooh, doesn't quite break the lock-on. Ooh, lock good lock-on. The not siege siege tank attack sound. Just very brutal. Do, do, do. <laughs> this is very... Visceral blunt sound. <laughs> just hitting you with a spade or something. Just yeah, jump. basically. Tink, tink. <laughs> oh, oh. Ooh. Duffy, what you doing? Good job, Cyclone. That was weird. I like a miss. I think you something. wanted to go for it, and then yeah. he was scared of the Cyclone, and then he just didn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just didn't. You just whoops. There were several options here, and you managed to pick the wrong one. Yeah. All right, Siege Tank in the main, beautiful, good coverage. It's like my it's like my decision making. All right, there's two options here, and somehow I took the third option. <laughs> Blue pill, red pill, and you, <laughs> much like Loco, took the third green pill and You're like, managed Shit. to break everything. Yeah, choked on it too. It's just bad. <laughs> <laughs> like you asked him for a glass of water, and he's like, "What? What?" <laughs> you no, know, no, trust me. I need a glass of water with pills. <laughs> That's all I need. If the unit counts. Pretty, Army is pretty much dead even. Then it looks like Uno, Uno Bomber's favoring tanks and marines. He's a little bit heavier than the tanks and marines. Yeah. Because Steffi has been pumping out extra troops. But. Steffi's got medevacs, which can lead to drops, so. Yeah, we'll see if or he at plants least we'll give a... his army some. And yeah, Dunabobber is going to go into the Vikings again, so. Let's see how this goes. Let's go. Oh, oh yeah. we're going for a big Doom drop? Doom drop. Already? Oh, imagine if the Vikings find this. So, the move out does get spotted by Duffy, which is interesting, so. Here. The army's flirt past Blizzard HQ. Oh my gosh. Oh, Suspicious scan. It's all up to you. Suspicious scan of like, huh, there's no army there. Oh, we just entered base trade territory. 
immediately. Uh, there's a tank back at home though, so. Oh, and it's turned off. Someone turned the tank off. Oh, yep. Oh god, the it, tank. It might get a shot off. It might get a shot off. Oh, it is. Well. <laughs> now this is a game. This is a game. I I really don't know who's winning. I think Duffy is in a better position because he initiated the base trade quicker. And he had some He's also defensive. still got production. He has production. He has a second tank out here that's in a defensible position. He needs to move yeah. this. He needs to not lose the CC. If he doesn't lose the CC, it'd be huge. Yeah, I think Duffy just took the better, yeah, better I think trade that's the here. Game. Yeah, and then his Marines are going to clean up pretty much all the SCVs. Luna bomber here. There's one bunker with a marine in it. And that's all we got left. And not even now. <laughs> run, boys, run! Can't Luna even <laughs> salvage the bunker. Luna bomber's gonna do everything he can, but I uh, I don't know if it matters. What's funny is the mass nope. repair is not great because he needs money. GG's called. Alright. Going on the... This is a semi. This is a semi. This is the best of five now. Yes. Going in the lower left. In the red. It is Annex. Let's go. And in the top. Right hand side. With the blue. Drones. He's a hero. He's a machine. It is GG Machine. Really gas. Mm. Gas hatch pool. So we're going to go quick into Link Speed or Banes? Yeah. All right. I don't know. This is not how you would usually do it if it was a, you know, back row hatch first, so. Yeah. Let's we'll see what the plan here is. I guess it's so you can start link unless he's going into Banes, I'm guessing because he gonna put Drew drones on it. So he can start link Sweet. speed probably as soon as the pool finishes. I'm gonna guess is the plan here and then he'll pull the stuff I guess. I could see that. That makes sense. Cause your pool his pool is much a bit faster than his opponents. GG machines. Yeah. Yeah. See, he's already pulling off. Yep. Exactly. Perfect. Yep. Link speed and links. Yeah. And fast links are better than slow links. I'm just curious how many links he's gonna make. Hard. How hard is GG machine gonna drone here? Answer is uh, not not gonna drone more. <laughs> apparently, yeah. we are done at sixteen. Who needs more than sixteen drones? But this is good. Right. He just sends out a pair of lings, a second pair of lings, which is pretty normal. Yeah, this all looks normal. And meanwhile, we have plenty stocking up, starting to stock up in the main. Well, he shows a third pair, which I think is a little indicative of. Seems a little. Yeah. Off. I thought he'd stock up a little more. A little pressure on with the initial links, but nothing crazy. Bailing nest coming up here for mechanics. I think mechanics can, can feel what's going on now. Yeah, the thing is, he's dribbling in links two by two, so he can't take a good fight. Yeah, it's Especially not really. Especially when you lose one. Every time two comes in, you lose one. It's like, hmm. He really wants to get the surround on the queens, and you can you can feel it. But now, GG Machine is droning up behind this. That I really like. 
Because now he's yeah, forced. He's forcing out all these evos. Yep. Honestly, I don't think you attack here. You force him to finish it because he's going to have to kill it eventually. Yeah. He, he was trying he to force it. Himself. But. One interesting thing about all this is since all the queens were pulled up front, is I don't think he's been injecting in his vein now as often. Oh, nope. yeah, no. No queens. No creep spread between the bases either. Obviously, not as important in this matchup as, you know, injects and um, transfuses, but. Hmm. On the back of this. Yeah, GG Machine is definitely in a decent spot for it. I don't lose the overload there, but. That's sad. Not too big of a deal, but a third is almost done for GG Machine, so behind all this, he's droned up. Got his own layer started here. The layer is done for. Me. What is he gonna do with it? Banking up gas to go into Mutas? Yeah, it looks like it's a spire for mechanics. Yep. So he's gonna go into Mutas. Hmm. How does GG Machine sniff out the mutas? I guess that's the uh, question I have here. Without a dive? I don't know if he does. Hmm. Right now, it still looks like standard Ling Bane. You got two Banes, you got enough of Lings here to keep him busy. Maybe one thing is, feel like anything's wrong. if you don't see roaches at all, might start to get True. a little suspect. He did have his own roach form, but he's also now dropping his own spire. Maybe hmm. he maybe he also wants to just go into roach muta. Because he's hmm. also getting um, roach speed. Oh, again. not going to get the queen. Transfuses are good. Hmm. <laughs> Tried for the queen. Ryan. Eight mutas on the way. For mechanics. I mean, GG Machine is not going to have a gas bank to pump out mutas like this. The way. Yeah. It's one mute on the production tab. Let's go. <laughs> well, the mutas right. could spot up. Which is better than Here when they, the you know, them sh just showing up on your base. Yeah. All right, they're gonna take their time and kill some overlords on the way across. That means Hon the spores will be done. Honestly, I think that benefits GG Machine though, really. Yeah, letting the spores finish up, letting him shore up his defenses. The corruptors on the way. The corruptors are an interesting choice. Honestly, I think he needs another spore up near his evos. Oh. The corruptors will be able to chase. Them. The corruptors, yeah. But he's like, he keeps taking fight with his queens, and his spores are just doing nothing. So it's like, hmm. <laughs> they're nice <laughs> and all if he dives the mineral line, but you're not letting him, so they're not doing anything. Hmm. This is an awkward game. Corruptors and ZVZ. I, I I I wasn't expecting this. I'll say that. Yeah, this is not normal. I guess is the <laughs> the term I would use here. I mean, it's the anti muta, so like I get the decision. I don't yeah. think that was GG Machine's plan. <laughs> but you can just kind of hunt down mutas like this. It really does shut them down. You don't need nearly as many. I mean... I don't, I don't know if you can eventually just get into Broodlords? Or maybe it is just Roach Corruptor. 
I mean, Roach Corruptor is a comp. Oh. But Mechanics is just continuing to pump out Mutas, which I just I find surprising. The thing is, are Corruptors the right choice here instead of something like Hydras? Well, I, I think the... The reason is, I, I feel like DJ Machine wanted to go into Mutas himself. But and then just got blindsided. When he got blindsided like, oh. and clearly saw that mechanics was like on top of, hey, I'm gonna go and go with Mutas. And I already have 10, 8, 10, 12 out. I'm just gonna go into Corruptors as the anti muta squad. I didn't think this was a reaction, not a plan. That's fair. Oh, we let the, the Lings in. Who let the Lings in? It'll be okay. Raptors, though, I mean, they're, they're getting some work done. They're, they deny the fork base. They're diving the spire. That's a big sure. deal. Yeah. I don't know if that's what I would have targeted down in this moment, but. I'm guessing they can't actually. They're targeting down the third. Is he gonna get it? Transfuse? Brutal. No transfuses. Oh, a lot of mutas, though. Just... Oh, too many corruptors. Yeah. Still too many corruptors, right. though. Roach is going across the map. Yeah, I just don't think you can get a good fight here at GG Machine. I think you want to exert pressure. Yeah, I get it. It's just like... Well, he's going to force the fight with the mutas, though, to clear up the muta numbers a bit. And you're kind of just trading roaches to do so. So... It's okay. Yeah. That's essentially how this is going to go. I mean, me Mechanic's army is essentially Muta Queen with a handful of links. And he's still just keeping up the Muta numbers and getting a lot done with them. Yeah. Oh, and he feels like yeah, he can dive now. On the way. Finally getting some Hydras. Oh, yeah, Hydras. Oh, one Hydra. That was that a was mistake. For mechanics. Yeah. I don't know. It's not like a swarm host mistake. I don't know if you can call a Hydra a mistake. If you had to build the Hydra then, you know? I don't know. I think this is the problem with the Corruptors, though, is these lings. Now they're useless. I mean, unless you go Greater Spire and then just try and Broodlord them. I'm thinking GG the Machine around. was going to try and go into Broodlords, but yeah, I think at this point. His whole army is just the Corruptors right now, so he's just moving around and they're just... They can't do anything. They don't shoot down. Yep. There's not much to oh, say. The, the one Hydra. Go, Hydra, go. No, he died. <laughs> what a shame. Yeah. Fine. In proper Hydra fashion, you cut one down, two more come up. Yep. I assume Mechanics is just gonna play for his next round of units and just walk across the map again. Yeah, I mean, look at that supply difference. 29 to 64 workers, 105 to 181 overall. Mechanics just welcoming, welcoming me, like, yeah, you can come over to my side of the map. Yeah. Welcome. <laughs> that's a, that's a mistake you won't live to regret. But GG Machine is taking as good of a fight, I think, as he's going to get. Yeah. Nope. Basically, clear up the mutas, but at what cost? Any chance he had of stopping links that go across the map right now? 
Yep. He lost all of his roaches there. Like he backed away from the static defense, which was great, and then he put himself in a corner, which was not great. I mean, he would have just gotten surrounded, so I think he, you know, he True. just took his the best fight that he could. But <laughs> I think mechanics just needs the F two and A move. But mechanics probably may not realize the state of the game though, because it's always difficult to say the game, especially in a mirror matchup. Yeah, these kinds of things, you know. I think Mechanics has an idea, but I think he's just playing really safe to just make sure he doesn't throw a game. Yeah, I mean, that's always... It's, it's always a safe way of playing, you know, tech up, getting his lurker done, you know. I guess it's better safe than anything else, but at the same time, he could also have won already. As Day Knight said in one of his videos, just go kill him. <laughs> <laughs> I know Went more ahead. Go win the damn game. I know there's more context more of that quote, but. <laughs> yeah. No context needed. Just go win the game. McKinnix has this nice, beautiful. Hydra, Ling, Lurker, Arm. Nice economy. He's running around with some mutas. Now you got GG Machine. Got these corruptors. <laughs> yeah. Mechanics is going up to Hive here. Hilariously making it work, though. Like, the ground army is getting. Gigantic. I don't know. Being down 100 supply, I have a hard time saying he's making it work. <laughs> I mean, this game has gone on for s almost 16 minutes now, somehow. Yeah. <laughs> but the lurkers. It is simp I want to say that this is simply just a facet of mechanics didn't win earlier. Not that GG Machine was holding on. And we'll start with our Red Zerg player. Picking last game. And this best of five get up for mechanics. Let's go. And in the top left hand side with 11 workers, you might wonder, how do he do that? Well, it's because he built a spawning pool. It is GG Machine. It's a cheese as old as time. Don't build any workers to start and you drop your spawning pool immediately. It's truly iconic. Pretty much. And you send it to drone pool, across. The six pool, the twelve pool. Truly unstoppable. Mm-hmm. Oh, and he's microing it to avoid the overlords. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, who was it? It must have been him who did this um in the draft league. Where you, you drop a hatchery, cancel it, drop a spine right next to their um <laughs> natural. That's yeah. the plan. Oh my god. What am I watching? Starcraft, baby. Alright, Mechanics is gonna see this. You know, wait, wait a minute. Ah! Oh, nibble, nibble, nibble. That's the wrong team color. <laughs> that, I don't remember putting that there. There's no creep there. Yeah, fun fact. Hatcheries make one... They make like a small amount of creep under them when you start building them. Yep. And that's why hatcheries are cool. What's funny is now he could actually unburrow this and then walk it up into creep of his opponent. Yep. Well. And that's why you do it here too, because now look, it's starting to gain health because now it's on creep again. Yep. Oh, the broodlings almost get it. Small mistake on the broodlings because they chased. If they hadn't chased up the ramp, I think the broodlings would fine. Oh, yeah. It's only got 30 health. I mean, it'll die. The lynx can just target it here. But, I mean, that that cost him all of his lings almost. Cost him lings, so. Meanwhile, at home. GG Machine has natural, natural done. 
Really behind on gas though in tech. Link speed already started from a game. Um, game's yeah. pretty even otherwise, other than the fact that the natural done for G. That's in the follow up here. And really to take advantage of this game state, right? Like GG machine has the macro well. Right, make good decisions. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Hundred percent. Got it them. does not get in. I think it just stopped. <laughs> that was awkward. Yeah. <laughs> just, ah, this is fine. I've climbed the ramp. I'm good. I'm thinking he's just going to do like a two base roach push here. And I like it. Yeah. All right. I don't think Mechanics is going to commit to the Sling Flood. Cool. We left the full wall finished, so that's something we're going to have to deal with here. For GG. I think that's fine. I mean, it's useful right now, but, you know, it's always one of those, like, you have to kill an Evo Chamber. I think given how the game started, it's okay. Yeah. I know I'm looking at That's it. Fair. It's not, I mean, yeah. Not. But it looked like oh. you were going to get Ling flooded, so it's better to... This situation, Jason, I think, overreact than just die to Ling flood. Right. Mechanics taking advantage of his opponent being walled in. Double expanding. The absolute Chad double expand play. Oh, Everyone loves it. Gotta expand your mo spend your money and somehow. True. But I, I mean, mechanics has gotta know what's coming his way. Like it's pretty obvious that that's like how this works. If you're doing the roach push, you can see the roach warrant upgrading. You can see the evos now thinking. Now you see the evos. Doing whatever Evos do. Alright, follow me here. Nidus. For who? GG For on machine? Um, machine. Yeah, GG machine. Good work. He's researching his upgrades. He's not going to kill these Evos anytime soon. So why not just drop an Evo? Or not drop an Evo, drop a Nidus. You have the half back base. The back half. Yeah. You can drop your Nidus in Mechanics back pocket base. Back there on the edge of his natural. Or his yeah. cane, I should say. Yeah, there's this would be a great Nidus game, in my opinion. I'm not an expert on Nidus canals, but I think this would be a great one right mm -hmm. here. I get the sense that's not the plan. I feel like we seen it ready i don't know yeah no it's definitely probably not in his plan but i think it would be cool it would have potential certainly but <laughs> obviously we are working with a lot more information he's building another roach horn does he plan on killing his roach horn to get out yeah yeah I guess so i mean all right hmm <laughs> That's not what I expected, but <laughs> sure. That that's what we call an executive decision right there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So many lings. Let's see, what's better? Roachling or a lot of lings? The lings can get oh, the That's a lot of lings. So many lings. God. Go. Oh. I don't know if this is the worst fight you could take, but it's up there. 
Brutal. Oh. Oh my gosh. Ling, good unit. Why build anything out? <laughs> oh. <laughs> this little corner. <laughs> He's trying. That roach tried. Really uh, brings to like the phrase pigeon hold. Yeah, it's true. Hmm. Well, the good news is that even if he did do a knight, it would have died to a lot of lings, so perhaps it doesn't really matter. It's another big follow up, though, of roaches right here. Well, he's going to have to do it quick because there are mute. There's a spire almost finished, so. I had a huge gas bank, unlike last game, but. Yeah. The mutas are going to be a problem. Mutas are going to be. Yeah. Ideally, though, if GG Machine can get some solid damage done here. Oh, that's what he needs. He's going to kill a fourth base. Which is nice. But now he sees a muta. Mutas are out now. And now you just... Alright, he's gonna force himself into the choke point. I actually really like this fight for him. Yes. This this is the right way to do it. He can That's start how to you take a fight against Zerglin. Then you can start to split off some roaches here. Yeah, I think he's just have two in. But if he had kept like five or six in the wall, those lings are not coming in for a bit. This is what you can do with roaches, though, in these muta situations. You can still run over your opponent. Yep. A lot of oh, damage we're done. hurrying down the spire. We're, oh, we're getting drones. Yep. So that's huge. Oh, Twenty-seven get the drones pool. down. Oh, that's oh, huge. the utter disrespect! Kill the pool. It's a great move. Yeah. He, he at home. Yeah, he's just pumping out roaches. Really, you can just. There's what tech do we have left? The Baneling Nest? Yeah. You can't make Zerglings. <laughs> kill the Baneling <laughs> Nest. Assert dominance. Seriously. Oh, kill the rebuilding pool. Oh, come on. I mean... Can you imagine how hilarious that would be? It would be good, but I think just targeting drones is yeah. absolutely the best spot there. Oh, yeah. 40 dead drones is a game-changing amount of dead drones. But we also don't have any... We got Hydras coming up. We got the Hydras. Let's go. Oh, I man. think yeah. yeah, Mechanics needs to go get damage done with these mutas, but instead he's trying to catch reinforcements. Wow. GG. <laughs> we got G a series on our hands. Spine in the lower left, in the red. Give it up for our friend Mechanics. Let's go. And in the top, right hand side, with the blue drones, bringing it back. Don't call it a comeback. He was always here. It's GG Machine. Ridiculously. This game? They're both going to go hatch. Yes. Yeah, setting up to be a standard game, it looks like. Mechanics hatch just a second late. Not a big deal. Yeah. Things that, as long as it doesn't compound it on any other mistakes, shouldn't be too bad. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, the one minute GLHF. <laughs> yeah. Standard is a mere game. This is how I would open every Zerg game. Playing Zerg. I mean, 16 yeah. hatch. S. Only to the gas. Definitive opening. That is the one thing I like about playing Zerg in StarCraft 2 is that you can rally your eggs. Very cool. 
and it, it does allow a lot more of just these kinds of openings where you just rally your drones everywhere properly. It makes the openings so crisp. Yeah. For very, Nexus, very it's like, oh, well, I have like five of them, and I rallied them all to the wrong spot. <laughs> Whoops. Both opening with four lings, just to be safe, starting ling speed. GG machine, okay, he's making extra lings though. Yeah, mechanics starting to drone up behind it. We're gonna get a little bit of early game aggression here, it looks like. Maybe just move it across the map just to put on some pressure. Yeah. But I guess let's see, oh, just drop the, I mean, the drop in the bay in the ass. Sending a drone out. And if nothing else, this will force a reaction, right? That's the point here, it's just to try and force a reaction. Yeah. He's gonna see more links at home too now, defensively. He could lose an overlord. Yeah, I think. If nothing else, you're like, ooh, gotta keep all the queens in the front here. Gotta drop the Evo camera to make the wall. Yeah. Kind of rough to get supply blocks right here, though. Yeah. Potential injects being missed right now. Yeah, GG machine. He is just bodying lanes right here. But mechanics, oh. very defensive posture. Has bait lanes on the way. Oh, they immediately got fast. Yep. Oh. oh, no. that We're in, boys. Woo! Oh, we detonated our banelings. Big mistake. Now yeah, some drones. So we're it's in the mineral line. Yep. Forcing a pull. Nice. And you gotta, man, banelings are so good. You gotta be so careful. The ling bane wars is. I think this is about as. They say like, you know, fights happen in an instant. In StarCraft 2, yeah. it's hard to think of a better example of this than the Ling Bane Wars. You look away and you look back and your army's gone and you're like, wait, what? What? And I guess that a couple of times. disruptors are pretty definitive too, but as like an overall battle rather than like a single unit. Yeah. Oh, oh commits the Bane Lanes. Ooh, kind of lost using the Bane Lane there on a... Nope. Oh, oh no! A mistake. Oh. Big mistake for mechanic there, I think. I don't think yeah. he realized the positioning. Oh, GG going for the hidden banes. No, right? Come on, queens. Well, there's right. units in position though. There's no drones there. Yeah, <laughs> funny enough. He's gonna get away with it, but there's no drones to kill. Nope. Gets oh, one drone. One. Yeah, GG Machine's just keeping up the pressure here. He's still also getting some drones behind him, too. He's, he's ahead in workers. Aggressively ahead in workers, actually. Aggressively. I mean, being eight workers ahead when that's like a third of your opponent's economy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, GG Machine is keeping up with the drone count, which is pretty solid in all this. It's impressive because obviously Mechanics has been donating a lot more larva to Lings, right? Mm-hmm. And keeping up. The biggest thing is that uh, Mechanics is not injecting nearly as well as he should be. And, and I think that's a huge difference. Really seeing the worker differential now. He's had to oh, build a bunch of work. Evos, right? Just forcing Evos yeah. is... You're losing drones yeah. from that. And we have a hidden base coming up at about 12 o'clock. <laughs> That's cute. Built the Roach Warren. Layer almost finished up for GG Machine. No layer started yet for Mechanics. Uh, the layer to... The layer is a pipe dream for Mechanics right now. Oh! Oh, Bane Links kill all of Mechanics Links. Oh, I missed it. Yeah, wow. Pretty, pretty big.
Pretty big catch yeah, there. Yeah, that's painful. 1-1 one, one in road speed. This, he's gonna, he can win with a timing attack here if he's clean. I mean, that just keeps GG Machine's third base safe. He doesn't have to yeah. worry about any pressure now. That's pretty huge. Cause yeah, he's just he's gonna... the links up he's, front. He's just gonna go for this 1-1 one, one roach timing with speed. Pretty sure that's just gonna be the plan here. I think that's gonna be the end of the game. I think so too. Ro Roachhorn Mechanic on the way trying. for mechanics. <laughs> yeah. His roaches will be just spawning as 1-1 one, one is finishing and roaches are knocking down his door. Oh, he's gonna oh, put up pressure now. Oh. Alright, screw timings. Yeah, I guess so. But I mean, it's a... At, like we yeah. were just saying though, you know? Putting brown pressure is huge. Go win the game. Go kill him. Yeah. I mean, Roach Beat's gonna finish up here shortly. All these rallying roaches. Just to start flooding across the map. <laughs> yeah, just take your hatcheries, rally them to your opponent's base. I love just the, you know, the slow blue parade line <laughs> that was slowly. It's like watching a hero marine game. Yeah, slowly come across the map and then roach speed finish and it all just accelerate it. It was uh, <laughs> spawning in the lower right in the red. Give it a four mechanics. Let's go! And in the top, left hand side, he's a hero. He really is a hero. Look at him with the blue drones. Give it up for GG Machine. Up to one. Catch point. Yeah. Don't call it a comeback. We were always here. Hmm. GG Machine does seem to really like his Ling aggression. Sometimes I mean, with Banes. That's what we've seen pretty consistently. I, if I were to try and put myself in his shoes, right? Game one, you know, relatively passive as compared to the last two games, right? For On his end. And he ends up getting attacked by Mutas, which he doesn't scout, and he loses the game at that point, basically, right? Right. So I guess, you know, in your head, you're like, all right, if I can't, if he's going to do something like that and I know I'm going to lose, let's try to be more aggressive. And it's working in his favor. You know, you just change gears, try something else, and why stop if it works? Yeah, I just, I guess what I've noticed is, yeah, he likes a sling slash sling bane lane play and just going into a really strong roach mid game. And yeah, yeah it's, I get it. It's a good way to play. Absolutely. All right, let's see what the plan is here. Mechanics squeezing out an extra drone here. Uh. Too big of a deal, just playing a little bit greedier. Oh yeah. You know, if you can get away with the greed, it's not bad. And look at this game. He starts up some extra links. He's going uh, six links right off the bat. Yep. Squeezes out the extra drone, but... Pulls out links. But he's going to take a third pretty fast here, it looks like. They both are. So, yeah, they both want to play a straight-up game, it looks like, here. Oh, that'll be fun. GG Machines slightly up in the drone count here. Yep, they start the Banelian Nest. I mean, yeah, this is... As far as I know, this is like the definitive macro way. Get this fast third yeah. base, throw down a Banelian Nest in the front there. Yep. But somehow GG Machine is up. You yeah, know, three workers. Huh. <laughs> well, one of them is definitely because... Mechanics built uh, three sets of links. Definitely. Uh, I don't know where the other ones came from. It, link speed is a little bit quicker, too. Is he, is he just playing cleaner? I mean, I guess so. He's up five supply. 
Yep, maybe just a little bit cleaner. No big deal. I think at the end of the day, though. Yeah. As long as nothing mm. goes sideways, these small differences in the early game shouldn't make too much of a difference. There's the easy. Ling. There's the Ling. Explosion. Oh, yeah. Yep, starting up Bane Lanes. This forward Ling's here. I'm surprised the mechanics didn't try and push back the Overlord before sending the Lings out. So we try and hide them for a little bit. Maybe. Oh, pretty good connections Bailing. there. Bailing's good unit. Oh. There's the Ling flood. Good mechanics. Yeah. All right. And when I said we had a series, I didn't think we would have this great of a series. <laughs> Oh, what? Oh, he blew him up on the wall. Nope. Yep. Like, public, what the hell just happened? Yep, and then mechanics need is... at least another few Bane links to break yeah. this. Safe to just drone up behind this, though. So, very nice. Very nice play here. So, despite all that clean play opening from GG Machine, it's all wiped out. Of a very yeah. solid timing for a mechanics there. Oh, Bailing's against <laughs> the. Oh, he that baited was out. Oh, they baited that out. That, that was, was so, so cute. That was very cute. Oh, I respect it. Pretty solid. GG Machine has a huge army, though. And he's got roaches on the way, so I think he's going to be able to. GG Machine's going to be able to go ahead and walk across the map here once these roaches are out. He's got a lot of. He's got a lot of banes too for this point of the game. Mm hmm. He has plus one care pace, so I. Now the banelings don't one shot, I believe. They took a. Yeah. He ate a shot there. Now, I wasn't sure if that was just distance or if it was the plus one. I think it's the plus one. I don't know the exact math, but that would make sense. That's true. Tends to be how upgrades work as they change, like. the number of shots or whatever. Oh, yeah, it's definitely the plus one, saving his life. These Banelings all have one health. The roach counts. Look at all the slow roaches. <laughs> yep. Like a geriatric fight. Yes, it is. Oh, come here! <laughs> They're just chasing each other with their walkers. Basically. All right, now they both have one armor, so we'll bounce things up again. Okay. Roach speed started for GG Machine behind all this, and he's building a bunch of lings. Um, yeah, he might just ooh, lings come in just to save mechanics here. Yeah, just this tug of war going on here, but mechanics is still setting up. You know what? Eight workers right oh, now, free so. Queen. Or no, 12 workers, yes. I mean, Kanks is a nice worker lead. So... He's getting plus one range. That'll be huge when that hits. I like this getting to a point where GG Machine, like, really needs to do some... some eco damage here. And I don't think he can, honestly. And I don't think the he can. The army movement here by Mechanics is good. Yeah, it's... he's matching it Keeping enough. really zoned out. <laughs> a Ling run by going. Mechanics feeling super confident. Yeah, I don't know if this is enough. Yeah, not quite enough there. I think he, yeah. GG Machine got a few work. drones, but not, not enough. Well, no, he didn't get any because it would have popped up. We have Game Heart. Oh. Well, he, he got one at most. If you kill two or more, it pops up on the Yeah, screen. you're right. Hmm. Alright, here come the Bane Links. Waddle, 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 waddle. No Maybe damage to be found there, though. Good catch by GG. Oh, natural is undefended. 
Well, Roach Beat being done makes though. a big difference here now. This is solid. Eight. Oh. But plus one attack. Oh. It's done for mechanics, though. So. The Ling's just kind of run into some Bane Ling's there for a GG machine. <laughs> Classic. Roach uh, Beat. Mostly done, sorry. No, you're fine. GG Machine, he's... I like the split that he's doing here. This is what it... This has got potential to start cleaning up some drones at the third here. Yeah, but... Mechanic is just F2-ing, it seems like. Yeah, I mean, GG Machine, he's... He's doing a pretty good job here with these splits. Yeah, he's splitting the fight on the left. Which is collapsing. Fight on the right, not going his way, but it's fine. Yeah, and then Got it all kind of collapsed into his favor. Wow. Yeah. Even being down in upgrade, he's winning this fight. He just has the numbers. He has significantly the numbers, absolutely. And just, I think just a little bit of manipulation of the army movement. Just like GG. that. GG Machine, indeed, living up to his name. Uh, in the upper right, in the red, give it up for a Terran player making his triumphant return. It's Deffy. Let's go. And in the bottom left, with the superior pieces, give it up for Primal. Got the tools. Yeah. <laughs> As some Terran players might say, it's the easier tools. <laughs> yep. Uh, beautiful gateway placement. Yeah, this is gonna be a good build. Dude, I remember Clem left, and I just looked up because he left his computer signed in. Yeah, on, just, I like, took a picture of it. Screen. I took a picture because I think it was on like waterfall or something. Is where it was left yeah. on. <laughs> yeah, because it was like I remember walking over. I saw like, oh, he must have like gone up to get food or something. I come back two hours later, it's still on that screen. I'm like, oh no, he just literally up and left, <laughs> and that was it. Yeah, well, you know. I think, um, I heard him talk about, like, he loses or something. He likes to just yeah. take a take time to himself, which I get. Yeah. I'm not saying, like, oh, he's bad for doing it, but it was just no, one of those, no. like, oh. It's funny where yeah. it's like, okay, man, all right. Fine. All right. Well. Double gas. Duffy has a play style, is I think what we're establishing here. <laughs> yeah. I have a feeling I know what we're going to see. Well, I'm curious if it's going to be the three racks with Reapers and Hellions, or if it's going to go into Widowmind Drop. Well, why not both? <laughs> I guess it can eventually be both, but... Um, no other barracks have started yet? Well, I guess he is tr saving up for a CC. Yeah, so I think this is just going to be what this is going to be widow mind drops, like aggressive widow mind drops, I think. Yeah, break Ooh. out the memes. Oh, go in! Oh, <laughs> mistake! Primal had all of the opportunity oh, to go in there. Oh, he absolutely had the opportunity to go to get in there. Oh, come on! So, this What's is the, the challenge of Nexus first, though. Is the Reaper will arrive before your first gateway unit done? Yeah, but I mean. Well, this is two probes, not too bad. And you chase the Reaper away. You'll make up for that I mean, you, pretty quickly here. You probably could have gotten a battery out, like in the mineral line, but realistically, going Nexus first is already such an advantage that if all you lose is two probes, like, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Too bad. All right, what am I into the middle of the map? I like it. Oh, probes are just attacking the Nexus. <laughs> Get it, boys. Ooh, that battery might cause some issues with that location in the natural. Maybe. Well, this... Imagine he goes to pull the probes out of there and they all clump up. Could, but at least there's a square so we can still move out. Oh, yeah, there. they'll be able to get out there, but they're gonna clump right in that area. 
I can see a quick oh. minus 10 if he's not careful. Yeah, and there's the armory. Oh, Duffy, he is a he has a playstyle here. Both mines. I mean, they're good units. I think he's really aggressive with them and really good at utilizing them. And the observer is just going to see this random widow mine like, ah, huh. how did that get there? But it also tells you <laughs> what's going on, right? You're like, OK, there's widow mines. Well, you see one in the main, one in the middle. You might think like, oh, he's about to load up with it. Oh, well, why isn't the second soccer shooting? That was actually really oh, good for Duffy. Scene change. You're, you're on the wrong scene. Oh no! No, I didn't switch. I'm sorry, everyone. This uh, is really bad. bad. Just in time for the widow mine drop, though. Just in time for the widow oh, mine drop. Oh! 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 Minus six. Not too bad. Okay. See, but here comes the next one on my drop. This is where Deffy is really good. This is, yeah, and see the second one does not get spotted. And there's 11 more that go, go down. Yeah. All right, Thermal Land is being extended. Mm, excellent. See, but this is the I right- I love in extending it. This is the right follow up. Oh. Oh, there's the lag. So there's the lag. Okay. That sucks. Guys, is it is it lagging or is it just me? Well, I guess it's it was me. him. <laughs> pause. All right, yeah, no one's gonna pause. Just. <laughs> let it keep going, I guess. I mean, I would let the players do it if that's what they want to do. Can we, as just observers, pause? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if you have to be or like a referee. Yeah, because I know the referees can. And they can pause and unpause. These are super fast Colossus, but I think it's absolutely the right move. Yeah. Colossus are so hilariously good against Reapers. You never see it, but... <laughs> Done. Yeah. He's good with these widow mines though. Like yeah, I think any tear anyone can learn to do like opening like a widow mine drop, but he's learned yeah. to be constant with the aggression. Well Reaper has like what, fifty health? Something like that. Colossi does thirty damage a swipe. Doesn't pull the probes. Oh, oh. oh it didn't fire. Oh. oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, it could have been so much better. Oh. I mean, <laughs> oh, no. Oh, and the lag. Primal's, Primal's like, ah! Might as well use the lag to balance wine, guys. Hmm. Hmm, so... Gonna remake? No. Okay. No. Just gonna continue on here, which I guess is what we gotta do. This is a nice little force, though, from Daffy behind all this, right? Nice little bio force, yeah. a couple tanks, a raven for the disable. Yeah, let's see, we got stalker, two colossi, a couple sentries. Yep, the observer oh. seems to move out and tries to meet the army in the middle. They're trying to force a siege up here, which is good. Siege, force a stem. They want to eat a tank shot, but that's okay. And the shots are on the way. Painful. 
who I really, yeah, really, piece. really like. The hallucinated phoenix looking for a drop coming to the main. Very heads up. Oh yeah. Really like it. Well, so like, is this the whole army? Because this is a perfect time to send one medevac over. Yeah, eight marines. You just delete. <gasps> oh. Oh, we're supply blocks, so the second one's not even making. No. No, he doesn't know he is. No. He's floating he's so much money. Oh, and look, there it is. Now he realized three pylon start yep. immediately. This is the trouble, though. Yeah, because look at his bank. He's at 1,800 minerals. 18 zealots here right now is a different game. Yeah. Even without charge. Ooh. Oh, the pylon! Oh, ball's going forward. Doesn't really do anything. Kind of whiff, honestly. That's okay, but yeah, Duffy's just getting so much damage done here and absolutely taking the better engagement. But a lot of this comes down to yeah. that supply block and the fact he just has way less stuff. Yeah, I mean, look how much money he's made. If he wasn't putting his money... Ooh, Ooh. AFK check. Pretty good. Yeah. I mean, AFK checks are always nice, but you know what else is nice? Not being down. <laughs> Not being down 30 supply against the Terran yeah. army. <laughs> we could save his third here. If Primal could save his uh, third here, it would be great, but I don't... Th even if I do have no. engaged already. I don't think he can. Uh, I don't... Yeah, no, he's not going to save that. Uh, that's not going to happen. These tanks have way too good of position. Turret going down. Oh, we're going to try it. Balls. Oh, the second ball just oh. whiffs. Definitely takes it. Oh, uh, how do they, did it whiff or was it um, canceled by the Oh, table? no, you're right. You're right. All right. Spawning in the upper right. In the blue, it is our Protoss player. Give it up for Primal. Let's go. And in the bottom left, with the Terran, SCVs, and the Black Eagle. Give it up for Defi. All right. All right. Over under on the um, three racks Reaper Hellion. Mm, I think he'll do it at least once. The series. Yeah. <laughs> Question is, when in the series does he do it? I think if he loses a game, he'll do it the following game. That's that's the feeling I get. I think he's gonna do. I think he's gonna do the Widow Mind play again because I think he's really good at it. Hey, yeah. GG Machine, thanks for the follow. Nice games. Oh, GG Machine. I think we're gonna see the Widow Mind play again. That's he's opening two gas again. Not blocking, but I that's the feeling I get. That's what I think's gonna happen. No, that's fair. Oh, Probe's gonna get in. Primal's gonna go Nexus first again. This must just be how he likes to play. See yeah, the I mean... Go ahead. It works, you know? I mean, he didn't win the game, but he didn't lose because of the Nexus first. Right? No, no, it's totally fine. I think it's preference. If they open up Marine, you're fine. You know, you don't... You know, it's just... Yeah. You are. You're just even more so, ahead. Yeah, the old Marine, it is so good for it's, you. It's it's very good, so. Yeah, it's looking like Widow memes. Hallelujah, it's raining memes. Yeah, I think he's going to stick with this. He likes to make two Reapers, and he's really good at these Widow Mine drops. Yeah. Ooh, Twilight. But imagine a battery in the mineral line, right? He's got the money for it. I think it's the problem is like, it's too late for it to actually be done. Ooh, we tried to get it into the assimilator. That was almost really good. That was cute. 
it's like good I try, think good it try. just it gets down to I think it, it wouldn't finish in time when the Reaper gets there. So like, that's fair. You just have to micro your probes a little bit, and if you micro good, you lose one or two probes. There's two Reapers out here. This gets a little tricky, right? Because they can just dive right into the natural here. Oh, yeah. we lose a Reaper. That's a little sloppy. Yeah. I'm going in a blink. I really like this. I, I want to see some nice standard play from Primal here. I think this is really good. Yeah. <laughs> Look how late Warp Gate is. He's delayed it to make sure that he got blink super quick. I wonder if that was just a mistake. Hmm. Possible as well. I, mean, I think I so. I'm trying I to give him the benefit of the doubt, but... That's the, you know, it's always a lot microing the Reaper. Yeah. Ooh, almost oh, gets out of there. Oh, second Reaper's dead. <laughs> almost got Rebel out of coming. there with the, the grenade. Yep, so, I mean, this is looking pretty standard. Yeah. Third gas fast. The third gas before third base is interesting, but... Oh! What do we get down here? We're gonna proxy something? Maybe a DT Shrine? Is that what I'm about to see to get thrown down? I think so! Come DT on, Shrine. Invisible man Clubhouse. DT Shrine, I'm calling it. I <laughs> spotted by the Widow Mine drop, the pylon. <laughs> Right. Yep. And see, he moves up the swiddle mine. mine. Yep. But it gets spotted here. This is pretty interesting play. Oh! Oh, and it still right. gets off. Yeah, what a mines are broken. Oh! Sorry. Wait, what? <laughs> You're ready for the next widow mine drop though in your face. Yeah. But what about second widow mine drop? Yeah, but what about second widow mine drop? Oh, and look, you hit this widow mine on the upper left. Oh, oh and that's gonna walk back in soon. Unable to punish there. Absolutely unable to punish there. Oh. Oh, widow mine's dead. Medivac's dead. That's at least oh. something. There's four gate. He went four gate blank. Oh, okay. I missed the other two gates. I was like, this something's really yeah. off. All right, four gate blank. This is what I play in most PVTs now. But he's can't really. I don't know. I guess we'll see what's going on here. Oh, is he gonna drop a widow mine and try to get this warp prism? I mean, he should know what's going on now. Second tanks on the way. Builds the pylon, still uses the warp prism anyway because of fast warp in. Well, this is what you do it. This is how you do it. It's just the timing's really yeah. late because of the widow mines. Yeah. But this is really good. It's just like the pylon's actually kind of odd. Here. I I I I don't know. I find it kind of strange. I guess it's a spotter well, pylon. The pylon makes sense if you don't go in for the warp prism, right? Yeah. If you want to hit hard and fast, you know you have that and you warp in. And it's a little slower, sure, but you're able to do things. But with the warp prism, it doesn't make sense. It'll help down the road if you want to do zealot runbys. I could see that. True. Ooh, it's gonna and get I mean, combat shields. Out drop and shit, so I mean. Ooh. He's gonna blink on the tank. Nope, doesn't blink on the tank. Smart to not blink on the tank there, actually. Yeah, probably the best option. Yeah, just gonna back off here. Yeah, Primal needs to spend his money. He needs to throw down two more gateways, a forge, and then decide if he's gonna go into Colossus or not. So your charge is almost finished, which is very good. Cannon's coming up, just making sure any widow mines are dealt with. Yeah, I think this is the right choice now. You got your third base established, and a little bit extra money in cannons. It also helps against drops, you know? Yep. 
All good. Marines, they'll target that first. Definitely plays a very solid Terran style. Absolutely. Oh, for sure. There's nothing left for Primal to do except posture outside as natural, you know? Still pretty good, but... Usually oh, the four gate blink four can really punish Widow Mines like that. But I think Daffy was just so aggressive with them. He got so much damage done that he bought himself enough time. Yeah. Well, if you look, the first Widow Mine drop, very well handled, right? It was the second Widow Mine drop that came in while he was still trying to recover from the first that got him, really. Yep. That was pretty rough. Okay, so fourth base on the way, and we're gonna go into Storm. Alright. Ooh. Protoss players want to play Storm today. That's a Storm man. The Adept's like, where's my blink upgrade? And now this warp prism's gotta go in and warp in. The Duffy leaves a bunker at home. Very, very nice. Yeah, Duffy is set and ready for any sort of shenanigans like that. Yeah, this is tough. This is a huge Ooh. army. Oh, Anti-armor wow. missile hits only the immortal. <laughs> the one unit it'll actually have an effect on, basically. Oh, second anti-armor missile hits a lot more. Yeah, and this is just a really difficult spot to be in now. The army size. I mean, losing 10 workers thought you're still but he's still ahead, workers and bases. All he has to do is not die here for a minute. Well, he has some storms. Oh, Very nice. Oh, good storm. Very Another good. Another good storm. Wow. Oh, Terran's not even trying. Warping from behind. Nice. Widow mind burrow under the prison. Oh my gosh. I think he's oh, this is a disaster. just barely going to clean this up. It's primal. Oh, that would have mind survived. That's going to cause an issue later. Mark Does Alex word. really need to turn around? There we go. Oh, there's a lot of widow mines here, actually. Yeah, this is going to be a problem. Oh, no! Oh, oh no! 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 Oh no! Oh, oh, oh God, that that is the Protoss experience. Yeah, there it is. Archon dies before it can make it to the battery. Oh man, Primal. Actually tragic. Primal needs to spend his money. This has been the story of these games, though. Yeah. Cause he just needs to. Does he? He needs to drop like four more gates right now. Well, he was trying to, you know, Primal was setting himself up for a very strong, very, very, very strong record play with getting his fourth base down at a good timing. Ooh, big warping in the main for Terran. Ooh. Doesn't matter though, because the natural or the main's already lifted to go to the third. Spending money on bases is way too much. We can be spending that money on army instead. <laughs> See, and this is that Marauder heavy play too. So Storm is a really good choice here. Just yeah. you need to not get pounced on like this. It, it just hit. Yeah. Definitely just hit a really good timing, and then the Widow Mines just cleaned up all the High Templars. Yeah, it's those widow mines that survived were the big issue. Yeah, those widow mines that survived did so much. So I mean, like the storms, they cleaned up so much. Oh, those two widow mines are probably also gonna get more. Killed. No, observer coming. Sweet. Yeah, just need a cannon in the front here. That well. pile on the bottom finally getting taken out. Finally getting taken out. Yeah, and all the Widow Mines get cleaned up. What a messy game, but Primal comes out ahead in the worker count. Absolutely. And uh, here's the problem though. Duffy doesn't really have three bases. He's still just sitting on two bases here. Yeah, but two CC. 
And he, if he can keep up the aggression, I mean, I think Duffy still has a uh, path to victory here. Absolutely. I mean, this is just like the ultimate two base all in. Yeah, just, you just, just keep floating those bases around. You just keep doing it. Oh, we dragged that oh. one mine. That was nice. Do we have any storms available? No storms. Yeah, just oh, gonna we'll just feedback. Just feedback. I mean. Almost have a storm ready, and yeah, I think this is where Primal's gonna find some opportunity yeah. here. Yep. GG. Wow. What a well played game. Yeah, what a very well played game by Primal. I applaud him. Well, spawning in the lower right, in the blue, our Protoss player feeling some momentum now, I think. Give it up for Primal. Let's go. And in the top left hand side, playing with the red SCVs, it is our boy Deffy. Alright, I said he would do his Reaper Hellion after if he lost the game. Let's see if my clairvoyance was accurate. I'm feeling it. I am honestly feeling it for you, so. I mean he can't keep doing this with all my play, I feel like every game. Yeah, I feel like two games in a row is enough for that build. It's solid. Don't get me wrong. It's definitely solid, but... It's all about the predictability of it. Yep. Because imagine Primal just opens up, like, blind cannons near the minerals. Just... Why not, <laughs> you know? You know your opponent's going to keep trying to Widow Mine drop. Might as well. Yeah, that would be pretty good. But let's see. Oh. Gonna get in here. Cyber first. Probe's gonna All see the right. double gas. So this looks exactly the same, right, as all the other games. This looks a lot like the first game when Deffy played, mm -hmm. where the probe got in and he didn't drop the other barracks until the probe had died to the Reaper. That was the factory. Floating that money. That he's got barracks money. I don't know what the plan is. Ah, there it is. There's one. Barracks number two. I need to see a second and one. And drum roll, please. There, there it is. is. Look at the placement too. Oh. It's the same placement every time. Behind I think the he's minerals and by the gas. I think he starts it out to just make any type of scouting more difficult. Yeah. Anything it could possibly do. Like, I don't know, if a sentry if you went sentry first. Hallucinated Phoenix comes out. First sweep we're not gonna get any damage done. Stalker first. That's interesting. Stalker into Stalker as well. So no adept at all. I think um... it, I mean I think it's fine. I don't like, know actually, because I think the Adept is better against the Reapers. Yeah, I mean, it'll be okay. It'll be fine. Yeah, Twilight there's... coming up. Twilight will be good. Oh, well, we're I mean, not going to wall here, are we? No, Blink Play is good here, though. I, I, I mean, Stalkers, like, Stalkers are perfect for this. Yeah, my concern here is that with no wall or anything, the Reaper Hellion is just going to run in and kill a mineral line real quick, you know? It'll be challenging. I'm curious if Primal, does he build a... Th yeah, he goes... Okay, but he's going four gate blank, and that that just means yeah. he's just going to have a bunch more blank stalkers. Yeah, if he survives this push, like if he doesn't GG out from losing all his workers or whatever, he's definitely going to be in a very strong spot. It's all about what he's got here and now, you know? He definitely needs a battery, though. If he had a battery, it would make a big going difference up to three here. Bases. Yep. It's a fast third base, which is interesting. Yeah, this could be punished pretty hard. I think this... He's going to take a lot of eco damage. Oh, he's just diving for the stalker. Oh, yeah. All right. This is why you need the battery, though. 
pulled the boy to fight the anti-boy unit. <laughs> oh. Dude, imagine if Reaper still had an anti-building attack. Yep. <laughs> the good old days. 19 workers down. We never start at blank. He's only got three gates. He doesn't even have a fourth one. Oh, so he just opened three gate. I'm sorry. He didn't build one I in the front. I think he missed a gate. I think it's no, three gate there. blank is I just a more defensive way to do this. Just totally fine. Oh, he canceled yeah, his fair. third base. Yeah. Makes a lot of sense. And he's honestly. just starting blank. Oh, and these pro stalkers are completely out of position now. GG. Yeah. Yep. Spawning in the lower left, in the red, is our Protoss player. Give it up for Primal. And in the upper right, up 2-1. Trying to take it home so we can make it to the finals. It is our Terran player, Deffy. I like his little smiling star. Is it also good? All right, is his name not just Defy? Because you know you have to pitch like an F. Defy. D -D -F -Y. I was heard Deffy. Like defy something. Yeah, but, I, I, but maybe you're right. Call him Deffy, but is it not just Defy? <laughs> Technically, it you know. Like I guess I could ask him. I guess I could ask him. Yeah, it's one of those things where it's like, I just thought about it. Cause I'm like, yeah, we call him Deffy, but like, oh, it's also just Defy. <laughs> like this. All right. Coco, what are you doing to our players here? No, no, no. This, this, this is a normal. No, this is gonna be a gateway. Yeah. This will be a gateway. Just blame all cheese on Coco. Yep. Especially since Coco is a part of Flight Heroes. Coco, <laughs> what are you doing to our players? <laughs> nope. This is a. Pretty right. normal pressure. I think it's. I, I think. I like this. I think this is a really good way to mix it up. Yeah. Well, get, get a lot of hits in that SV. Oh. This kind of reminds me of the uh, parting five adept build almost. So normally you would take your natural in it. Well, you'll get a stalker and adept as well. But the Reaper will see this pretty quickly here. Zealot? Well, you'll see the Zealot, he'll be rather confused. Well, he won't. The, the, the Reaper is gonna see the lack of natural. And actually. That's true. And. Ooh, is he gonna catch the Zealot? Oh, it doesn't catch the Zealot! Oh. That's huge! Yeah. But this gets awkward. Well, the, the Adeptal will be able to chase off. Yep, and there's the Stalker. So let's move it across the map. We should start another Stalker at the Proxy Gateway. We're in Adapt. Stalker's punching away at that depot. We've built a second barracks. And a factory with a tech lab, which I assume will be... No, we're just going to go to a tank. Tank. Makes sense. It's tanking time. It's tanking time. I only need to spend its money on something. Yeah. Me, preferably, but, you know, I'm not picky. <laughs> Nexus! There we go. Make two necktie. Ooh, Robo. Just go back. Go oh, burn. no, don't Pox even pull the boys. The Poxy Robo. Why are we going home? It's one Reaper. The battery's doing its job. I think. I mean, there's a tank there. There's really not much more damage to be done. Yeah. Alright, now the battery's out of energy. Now I get to concern. But, like. Oh! Juked! Things made of butter. He's juking! He's jiving! Oh, he's dead. But he's not a stalker. No. 
the thing is though, if we leave like units across the map, like especially the adept or the stalker, we can try and delay the Terran from taking a natural for a bit, you know? Yeah. Force him to fight down his own ramp and such. Oh no. Oh no. No. If the other Front units were in front. place, this would actually be pretty great. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, why you just don't run everything home. I don't- the proxy robo is- I don't know. I- I like the proxy robo idea, but it's just you can't give up on it if you're gonna try and produce out of it, you know? I just- after seeing the tank, I don't know. Well, that's exactly why you'd want an immortal. It deletes the tank. Why do we have the sentry still over here? But what like, are we doing, Primal? In an offensive manner, I guess is more of what I mean, because... Aw, uh, fair. The, High ground, just trying to get up there. Oh, this isn't the battle you want, Primal. Oh. I mean, you want to stutter step the. About this is good. You want to stutter step the stalkers, not the whole army. And charge is just starting now. Oh no. GG. Yeah. GG. That went from bad to worse the moment he walked away from the natural. It's finding in the upper right, in the yellow, is our Zerg. Champion, well, maybe champion today. We'll find out. It is GG Machine. And in the bottom left, with the red SCVs, this man, he is fighting his way to the top. It is Deffy. We think. <laughs> I'm still on Deffy or Defy, to be totally honest. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. But as for who wins this, um... I don't know. Ooh. That is a very early pool. 16 pool? Is... That is particular in TVZ. Yeah, that's that's usually, yeah, I mean, it's roach, right? Quick roach. Yeah, double gas. Quick roaches. Ah. Uh. Is this the five roach build? I'm this not an might expert. be. Expert I've never, I've never learned that, but I. Th this is this a roach or maybe going into ravagers potentially? Because if you're gonna do ravagers, you need lots of gas. And I feel like a roach build probably get away with one gas. We'll see Roach run here in a moment. Yep. Yep. All right. Well, GG Machine definitely has this build down because I think these one pair of lings are going to come out in time to chase off the SCV. Yeah, this is very clean. Well timed. This, this man has watched Lambo's video. And has just stuck with it. Oh, yes, we will get the scout. Oh, he gets the scout. Yeah, not much you can do, really. Mineral walking is a thing. It was a good try. The mineral walk was, but that's so, that's such a small but clean thing that Duffy did right away. Yeah. That was, was very Reaper's nice. We're going to get both lanes, too. Doesn't matter, here come the roaches. Oh. Emp gets confirmation now that there are roaches. Mm hmm. Bunker. Makes four roaches. Oh, yeah, so he's just going straight ravagers. That's what I thought. The double gas tells me, like, you want yeah. gas. Alright, that makes sense. Okay, gets the Reaper, which is actually pretty huge. Now he doesn't have to worry about that at home, and he can be much greedier. Yeah. So, Cyclone actually, coming up here. Very good answer. Pretty good we answer. We just dropped a fresh mule, knowing that we're about to be attacked. That is... Old. <laughs> Greedy <It can> also <laughs> comes to mind. I mean, I guess you're hoping that he's not going to focus on it. Instead, he's going to try and push up the ramp, which he is. Ooh, bunker's done. Oh, Pretty good. No. Pretty good. Oh, yeah. 
sacrifice a Ravager. God, yeah. Cyclones have just infinite range. Pretty good. But, yeah. Oh, yep. gets the Cyclone. Nice. He, knew, he knew he could walk up on it. Knowing now that he needs to go after the tech lab. Very smart. Yeah. Gotta deal with Cloak. Oh, it oh, doesn't get it. It's like 20 health. Brutal. Well, you know it's Cloak Banshees. You know Cloak Banshees is a follow up, so. I feel like you have plenty enough information. Did that really get enough done, though? Didn't really get any economic no. damage done. No economic. We killed a tech lab. And a half-used mule. A cyclone. Hmm. No. A couple marines. I guess we... Yeah, no. Looking at, like, units lost. I don't want to say that was worth it. There's yeah. CC coming up. Aaron is still just in too good of a spot. Big Ling energy coming. Oh, ooh. Gets a cyclone. That's nice. Confirm the Banshee, which is nice, too. Yeah. Layers on the I way. I think the scout is probably the best part of it. It's a mule? Yeah. Ooh, gets a nice scout with the Ling. Yes, this will confirm everything he needs to know. Yeah, he sees third C so that's nice. Oh, he's flooding some wings, I mean. This is kind of a waste of minerals, but. I think it's more of just to trade lings for whatever he can and we just put some pressure on the other side of the map. He kind of negated some mules, which is nice. Yeah, but he had to build those to send him across. Those could have been anything else, you know? Should have been drones, but. It's like, I get what he's doing, it okay. does keep tearing back, but... I think it bought him time that he needed to kind of get, get his third established a bit here, get some creep spread going, allow his queens to be able to get in position, because like, now there's a creep tumor down to connect the bases, so... Maybe not yeah. the best usage of larva and minerals. Ooh, and gets one of oh. the... Very nice. Yeah. See, the I... overseers are out, so I guess this is helping quite a bit. Oh. Oh my god, it's got five health. Brutal. I think it bought- I honestly, I think it bought GG Machine enough time. Yeah. I- I'm coming around. I think that's what it was. It sucks to lose drones though. But you can drone pretty hard after that though. You saw the third yeah. base. You're ready for the Banshees. You essentially negated them by killing one and almost killing the second one. Yeah, you're- they did no damage. So that's pretty great. Yeah, he did build a third, which is uncommon. So I guess there's a possibility that they might show back up when GG Machine isn't ready for it. But realistically, he held it clean the first time. He can hold it clean the second time. Ooh, and I missed the Spire, which is finishing up right now. And look at all oh, that gas yeah. banked up. You know what's coming. We all know it's coming. You the flying shrimp. Grrr. Plus one flyer attacks. Right away, too. Oh, we oh. catch all the Hellions. And catching all the Hellions. <laughs> oh, this is going from... To quote, to finish Phenom. Ha, huh, this is going from worse to worse. Worse to worse. Okay. Now he knows that there's, like, three Marines and two Banshees, and that's about it across the map. Like, hmm, Banshees don't shoot up. He's ready. I mean, the Banshees can cloak, I guess, but... I'll just watch all the SMB no size, like, hey guys. A lot of barracks coming up, but not, like, they're not really producing yet. You know? No, it's going to take some time for, I think, Duffy's production to kick in. Meanwhile, 14 mutas on the map. Dude, just, just go kill them. There's four Marines. Yeah. 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 easily win that fight. Like, you have so much freedom right now as the Zerk Bar. You're like, I don't even know what to do! <laughs> I could kill everything. It, he is losing Mutas and it's kind of sloppily, but... But also, like... I mean, he, does it matter? You can almost <laughs> just straight up win with them. 
This is very brood war right now. Very. Very, very. Yeah, these mutas are getting some work done. Oh, but the Banshee's on the other side of the map are oh, also getting some work done. We're ignoring the mutas if we lose a bunch. Oh, that's not good. Oh. Alright, this is getting kind of disastrous. We don't have an we don't have an overseer. No overseer over here is painful. Well, we just outlasted the energy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's one way of doing it. Okay, here comes the big push here. Oh, gonna get the tank. Almost. Oh. Good hot pickup. That was beautiful. All right, now tank's gone. We don't have any banelings or anything. Here's the problem, though. No banelings. You oh, absolutely... but the banshee's gonna go ahead and die to the score. I don't think it matters. He's... Yeah, it doesn't matter. But these marines yeah, are just yeah. gonna walk over everything else. We are gonna try and clear the reinforcements because he knows there's no way to stop this marine ball. It's natural. Yep. Spire's gonna go down. And you're building roaches out of desperation. Yeah. Roaches are not exactly a good counter of marines. <laughs> the one the one roach just melts. Oh. Done. Oh, yep. he does actually have a baneling nest somewhere. He just doesn't have baneling speed yet. Yeah. Baneling so speed on the way. Useless. Trying to get some... Work done with the units that he has here, GG Machine. And counterattacking with the Mutas, pretty good. Getting some pretty good eco damage done. The Mutas, but I. I'm surprised we haven't seen any uh, Thors yet. Like, usually, once you see the Mutas, you want to drop one Thor. Mutas hilariously on top of production here. And just getting yeah, Marines. This is, this is where you want your Mutas, 100%. They're gonna work. Actually, the marine small enough numbers where they can't yep. do anything. But all they gotta do is get clumped up a little bit. But the issue is this marine tank army follow up here once again, going across the map here. And now it's gonna get on top of this fort base. But uh, yep, GG Machine's just gonna go ahead and give up right away. Yeah. Send him over to another base that he cannot defend, like, at all. <laughs> oh, the overlords are just rallied forward. Yep. All right, we dropped a few, couple too many biles on the tank. Okay. So, Chichu Chi has mustered together a decent army here. The Ravagers definitely help a lot. Now we got some speed bane yeah. lanes. Ooh. Oh! Oh, maybe right. the Mutas have done enough damage. Uh, maybe. They're about equal on workers. Do have any tanks? Oh, there, there's only 11 marines oh! out! Oh! No! Oh, the bile! Bile, so good! Oh my All those gosh. Myths. That's fine. We bowed down like six medivacs in one shot. Oh my gosh. Anything else is just extra. I agree with this. This I know it's a bit of an overstim, but punishing these ravagers is absolutely what you want. Yeah. Yeah. Zephy was in a h incredible spot earlier. Wow, GG Machine just He just found a way. He just absolutely found a way to turn this game around. I have Life no idea how. Finds a way. Finds a way. Thank you, Jeff, for that inspiring line. Yes. We could use some creep spread. Absolutely, yeah. There's a, there's a big break we, um, at the bottom of the natural. is not helping our movement at all. Definitely not. Ooh, main floating over to the forest. Well. Yeah, Duffy just needs to calm down, and get it is his... scouted. Oh, yeah, just, yeah, here we go. GG Machine just coming across to the map here. Again, there's no tanks. Bill Banelings in front of his face. There's the no disrespect. tanks. 
Oh my gosh. I think GG Machine did it. Are How? you kidding me? How did he do it? How did he? Well, he, he hasn't done it yet. Guys. He hasn't done it yet, but man. It's looking like it. The upgrades are better for Duffy, but... Oh, yeah. Kind of getting on top of production now. Alright. GG Machine needs you to need chill. You need units for upgrades to matter. Alright. Alright, right, GG Machine, chill Killing out. Killing is cool and all, but, like, your opponent has no supply to begin with. It doesn't really matter. Hello, Banelings. This is a moment of pure fear for a Terran player. It's like, what did he like, pop? Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Marine Split Challenge in real life. True. Nope. Oh, at these Bane Lanes. They've only got plus one melee, so they don't one-shot workers. Would see. love to see plus two. Oh, hops the Ravager. Now we're just flooding yeah, and there's 38 lings gonna be on the way. And oh, most of those are gonna become Bailing. Oh, I don't oh, know about this. What are we doing here? What are we doing? The GG Machine, grinder. what are we doing? Oh, Throwing. I don't want to... Oh, come on. You no, should've... winning anyway. Just had to wait for the lings. Oh, oh the no. meat grinder. I don't agree with this. God, drug players look away now. No. Get out of here. What are you doing? Look how stim that army is, though. It's so stimmed. I know, but. That is like, it's a trap. It's a honeypot. Like, you really want to dive on it because it's all so red. But it doesn't matter because Terran is just good. Unfortunately, I think just a very poor decision from our Zerg player there. If Hell, he had I, had like four Ravagers there, game over. I think it, well, he had like 38 Lings in production. I think even if he had waited for his Lings to just meet up with his Ravager or Roaches and then ran up the ramp, it, I, he yeah. might have overwhelmed. But That's also true. You know, it, it would have been different at least. Okay, good Biles on the first tank there. Yep. We need to get Banelings back into this arm. Oh, we do. Yeah, so we absolutely need Banelings. Oh! oh, man. That's why you need the Banelings. The Ravagers and Banelings. That's how you lose 50 supply in yeah. a blink of an eye. Yeah, GG Chain, I think he... Well, yeah, you want to get on top of that tank there if you can, but... You just need to attack these outer bases. He's rallying, though, straight across. So his units are cutting across the middle. Right in front of Terrence Natural, and that's his main issue. Yeah, he's just lazy rallies, essentially. Yep. Well, it's not that they're lazy rallies, he's just letting the AI figure it out. Yeah, well, I'd say he just he needs to stop the mining for Duffy. He's trying to go for the throat. He just needs to deny these bases, because I think GG Machine just denies these bases. He could just starve out Duffy. Duffy just pulled from the third because an Overlord is pooping creep. <laughs> All right. But GG oh. Machines is keeping the tank count down, which is pretty solid. Yeah, are we saying that tank count is always nice? Yeah, getting the Bane lanes going. Oh. Absolutely need to keep the Bane lane count up. 18 to 50 workers. Yep, that's what I mean. Just gotta kill these outer bases. Gotta kill these outer Look bases. Look at how much. Definitely isn't mining any gas, but he's still got 1,500 gas. He doesn't need gas. He's got enough to just build some tanks. Yeah. That's fine. Bigling run by. Just to distract. And then here comes the other base. And this is what I oh. mean. Oh, all the mules died. Yeah. Oh. I would have left. Like, this is like insta GG. Yeah. Oh, Bane's, Bane's, <gasps> Bane's. All right. Good target firing on one of them at least. 
Yeah, you could have filed this command center and killed it. GG machine, I think, is just, yeah. If he doesn't have any eco left, obviously. That's what I mean, he just needs to target these outer bases. And then definitely will just get starved out here. Nope. Oh, Terran's trying to move out, which I think is a bold idea. He's gonna Good. catch some Ravagers. He's gonna catch that army free. But big lane counterattack here. He's gonna find out how far behind he is right here. He's like, oh. Oh. All Marines, though, pretty good. It loses half of it to some Banelings. GG's called. GG. Alright, spawning in the upper left. And the yellow is our Zerg player. Give it up for GG Machine. Let's go. And in the bottom right with the red SCVs. He doesn't quit. He is defeat. Hmm. I think we're seeing the same build? Yeah. Looking like it. Well, oh, there's a, no, sing different. There's a single gas. I think this is still going to be a roach opener, though. Yeah, I think it makes sense. I think the roaches did him well. I think we're going to see a roach opener here. Hmm. Meanwhile, I'm assuming we'll see a Reaper expand from Duffy. This is, unless this is just gonna be like a fast link speed or something. But I feel like this is gonna, oh no, this is just gonna be fast link speed because he pulled off camera. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. So it looks basically like a hatch first. Timing of the hatch. It's a little off. But that's why you send out that SCV. Death, he's like, yeah, it's like, that's about right. Maybe you get a, might get a little feeling like, eh. Little off, but I guess the question is: Is he gonna the flood? We'll figure that out. Is he gonna flood lings? The lings, lings being running. out in the map like this is kind of odd. Ooh. Oh. This is why sight blockers are fun. The Reaper's like, nope, never mind. That's too many. Yeah, and then when you see the. More than four links. That's already like, oh, this isn't right. Yeah, alarm bells are already going off for Duffy. Yep, see, there's the bunker right there. Bunker. Marines hey. running. Yeah, GG Machine's just gonna flood links. Gonna get on top of the bunker. Oh. Almost made it in. Almost made it. That would have been disastrous. If you had made it in, that's it. Oh, oh, go up the ramp right now. <laughs> Could you imagine? You get the block on the landing factory and you're in. <laughs> it would have been pretty good. But also we're losing everything that's not the Reaper. Oh, oh. all right, we're in. Uh, we joined up behind this though, so it's not too big of a deal. Yeah. We'll good get scout off though. Pretty good scouting. Third CC coming. Tries to deny it, but natural is burning. I don't want you to get on that. <laughs> so I want you to do something about this. Hey, um, not my department, but I think that's a problem. Third base on the way, and I got some Hellions on the map. But a few queens already out here, ready to defend. 
No big yeah. deal. Crete spread is developing just enough to be able to defend this. Overlords being spread. Overlords are in a good spot to make sure they're catching this. Oh, big lean's coming in for the surround. Oh, and it, oh, oh. That, was, <laughs> that did not go. That was nice. <laughs> yeah, just another big counter attack here. Yeah. Cloak Banshees coming up again here for our Terran player. Oh, getting the surround. Oh, and the gates are still open. <laughs> Man, GG Machine just so aggressive with these lanes, but very good with yeah. the, the micro on them. And good with the timing on them. Yeah. Very good with the timing oh. on them. But the drone count's really low. The drone count is very low right yeah. now. Yeah, it definitely could be a bit higher for where he's at, but at least he's ready for the next phase of the game. Spores are up, layers coming, so we should have an observer here or an overseer soon. Another pack of Hellions. I'm gonna go ahead and run by and get a scout off on the fourth base that just went down. Six off Kill creep tumor. tumor. No big deal. Maybe scan here and try to pick up some tumors. Ooh, the queens are going to be a little out of position, though. But some rallyinglings here are going to be able to buy time. Yeah. Oh, and actually... Oh, and these lings are going to clean up the aliens. all the cars again. Again. That's painful. Just... And... He's gonna send all the lings across again. I think that's a mistake. Yeah, at this point, I it's too too many. But you're also not expecting this many Hellions. <laughs> so many Hellions that's have true. been made. There's a lot of Hellions that have been made this game. He keeps remaking them every time he loses them. Keeps remaking them. Overlord might have spotted the Banshees. Banshee's looking for not going to get anything done here. No overseer yet, but there's... Yeah, spot the spire. Gonna spot the spire. But unlike last game, there's not 1,200 gas just waiting. Yeah. And that's the difference with making all these lings. Is haven't been able to drone as hard. Therefore, way less gas. Uh-oh. Ooh. And she's gonna find a bunch of damage here. Five drones down, that's always nice. Always nice. Could have turned around and picked off Creep Jammer, but. Yeah, you know. Upgrades on the way. For a Zerg player. Click the back. Yeah. Such a micro optimization. But the mutas are in the way. In the pocket. <laughs> Definitely, this game though has some um, widow mines out, and Ooh. well positioned in the base, so it should be interesting. Not in not in the fun, tricky spots like behind the um, refinery or anything, but definitely right in the path where they're gonna the mutas are gonna fly into him if he's not paying attention. Oh yeah. Alright, Bunker and the Natural coming up. A little bit of a safety bunker, but you know. Oh, repair is good. The mass hugs. Yep. Oops, sorry. I've got lots of upgrades coming. Yes. Otterlings on the way, it looks like. Hives on the way. Good timing. Group spread's really developing here. So yeah, I mean, GG Machine's got himself in a pretty good spot here. Is... Okay, that sounds like a four. Oh, there's a lot of creep tumors dying. We don't have Baneling speed done, which is pretty critical.
However, Terran is gonna go home. Buying time with these Mutas to let, uh, oh, <laughs> grabs one of the Banshees. But yeah, this is gonna allow Centrifugal Hooks to finish up here. And I don't like this fight. This is an anti-timing for sure. Just a little too ambitious. I mean, it'll finish like right now. Oh, maybe it's just enough damage though. But it might be just enough damage. A lot of SUVs are gonna go down here. Oh, we clumped up right on right above a widow mine. <laughs> that was right that on was the widow mine there. Well, I think what happens he clicked on it to shoot it, and then it went invisible because it burrowed. So they all just moved there and clumped. Okay, right, well, it's all I can do based on my programming. You know, qu Queen eats the widow mine, which is actually pretty nice. Oh, good for her. Ooh, widow mine's getting a lot of work down here. Really need to morph some overseers. There we go. Right, ultra cavern coming up here. He knows it's still the old patch, right? Where they're not <laughs> much, not very useful. It'll be fine. GG Machine's so, in a pretty good spot right now. So I think instead of making Ultra smaller, they should be able to walk over small units. Hmm. Because it makes more sense for, that they're big, right? You know, obviously they're Ultra. Oh! The nice mine just drag. Right to the Marine. Just gonna... Meanwhile, we're busting the third. Yeah, just throw the oh, Bane yeah, to the, the third. GG. GG's called. All right, spawning on the left side here of Data C. It is a Zerg player. Can he do the 3 0? Or is Steffi gonna have something to say about it? It is GG Machine. And in the upper right, slightly above center, it is with the red Terran pieces. The man who's gonna try and give us a reverse sweep. It's Deffy. And once again, that early gas. Yeah. Just must be how GG Machine plays. But this I mean, feels like worked. last game though, where it's not the double gas. So I think this is just yeah. link speed. Yeah, just getting a really fast link speed and being aggressive with your links. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm just curious to see how this plays out. I think this is just pure execution. You can get so much done with the micro. And that's... Oh, GG Machine, he does seem to excel at this though. He is this very scrappy yeah. playstyle. Let's see. I'm not even sure what you do because I don't know how you scout this, right? Because you get there and the hatchery looks right. But it's like, what do you. How do you know that this is coming? I think Unless the you truly dive. The first indicator, I think, is seeing more than two lings or four lings. And also, the lings being out on the map like this, kind right. of the indicator. You really you make four lings and two queens like that's what you do so like looking yeah. for the hellion or the reaper like this and you already see more lings okay you're like okay something's up we'll probably see a bunker get started here in a moment of course there's a lot of extra micro on the, the reaper here oh no Pretty bad to lose the Reaper there. Yeah, it's unfortunate. And here come the Lings. SCVs are body blocking. Oh, oh look at this man. He's juke it. Oh, he gets got. Third CC coming up. Very fast third CC. How yeah. quick can you build a third CC without throwing the game? 
That is the question. That's what we're gonna find out, cause GG Stream's about to just run Lings in here, and there's like literally no units. Just literally no units. <laughs> if he decides to dive here, oh, Deffy pulls his low SCVs back. That's really funny. Okay, there's some That's aliens smart. just in time. Yeah, but can we get around them? I guess you get a nice scout here. So you see a yeah. really fast third CC. Trying to get the mule. Forcing the mule to run is a huge win no matter what. Oh, and he's going to send it back. Yeah. That mule has just lost so much money. Yeah, basically half its <laughs> mining yeah. time just gone. But GG Machine is droning out pretty nicely behind this. Got the Viking on the way. Just a nice little touch. But just gonna sack this Overlord, which would probably have gotten picked off anyway, so just. Yeah. Further useful scouting information. Fusion Core. I think we will get the scout. Get your on big it. battle cruiser energy ready. That BBC, baby. And we're gonna see the Fusion Core. But does does it get cancelled? Nope. Not no, gonna cancel. Tech lab. Oh my lord. Second starport. Oh, we're just going for it. Alright. Are we sending it back? Well, GG we Machine. GG Machine did see a sec, a, an empty tech lab above the starport, so he could possibly inf infer that this is to Stargate or to Starport. You saw the barracks lifting, according to. The okay. Overlay. So, what he might have thought is maybe it's transferring, like you're flip, flipping it over um, barracks in the um, factory. Yeah, possibly. Maybe he's like, all right, yeah, you're gonna go to reactor some marines, you're gonna, you know, make some tanks, right, and a battle cruiser, whatever, right? These Hellions are getting so much work done. Oh my god! Just so much work done. Sixteen, yeah, worth losing all of them, every penny. And you got a drone really hard. Spire's definitely solid here. Battle crews are still quite a ways away though. Wow, the on the CC. Come on, Viking. <laughs> Alright, Ling run by. Check stopped the third. by a wall and a couple of cars. Check the third. Nah, GG machine. I don't look for the third. To the third. Yamato coming up too, nice and quick. So really just gonna lean into the battle cruisers. But uh, does he I wait? I like it. Does he wait for a second one? Does he send the first one over? I'm really curious what I he does. I think you gotta tell. You gotta send both at the same time. I think because a big power spike. He's I definitely think. ready for one, right? You know it's scouted, so you know he's gonna be ready for one. The difference yeah. between one and two battle cruisers is noticeable. In terms of defense. Yeah, I don't know the math, but I imagine the power spike is huge with two. From one to two. And not just like, yeah, there's two, so it doubles, but like... Yeah. Even further. Well, it's like... One spore crawler and like three or four queens can push back a battle cruiser it's not going to be anything for two especially with yamato with their weapon refit you know right but the they will laugh at your tiny spines but the spire's done so now we can get corruptors and the battle cruisers haven't been able to get any damage done There's three of them out but we really need to see like a bunch of corruptors because I think these are gonna teleport with Yamato cannon. I think that's what's gonna happen here. A nice little now we get a scout of he sees two BCs. Yep, he'll see multiple BCs, so yep. 
Just gonna go straight into lots of corruptors. Yeah, I think you gotta YOLO swag these guys across the map and hope for the best. Yeah. Not teleport them. You wanna save the teleport because you know you should know corruptors are coming at this point. Mm, feels like he's waiting for this fourth battle cruiser to go do anything though. Yeah, but look what that's costing him. Look at his vision right now. Yeah. Go ahead and smack that one. Yeah. There we go. Look at that creep spread. It's like. It's pretty good. This is ridiculous. A lot of. Corruptors. I like the build. I don't think it's gonna work. Feels really slow. Look at his idle time. It's not something I ever really look at, but I just saw it. It's climbing quick. Technically efficient, but yeah, <laughs> and 18 drones, pretty solid. You're trying to come across and punch the oh. PCs. You get one, one down. Get a second one. It's pretty big. Yep, totally worth yeah. that. Absolutely worth that. And you trade out the hellions and everything. So I mean. Yep. It's not like you didn't get anything else there, too. This counterattack could be pretty tough to deal with, though. Defy. The Hellions aren't adding anything at this point. No, well, Defy is very smart in realizing that. Like, it's a bit of a yeah. power spike right here, but. I think this. Now that the Corruptors are dead, yeah, you walk the. The battle cruisers forward. You need to take out the queens. I need corruptors. Not a. There's. Okay, there we go. There's it's none. Like... Oh, there's a couple. Okay. Yep. There's literally three. Drilling claws coming up here. Yeah, GG machine is. That huge round of drones right after the. He defended the yeah. BCs was just so on point. He still hasn't taken one of the gases in his main. Obviously, he's not hurting for gas, but like, you know, it's one of those things where it's like, yeah, you should probably take that before you forget about it. Yep. Okay. Definitely going to come over here and try and punish this fifth base. The links are going to spot this, so. And this is where mech gets dangerous, though. Terran's on four bases, and that's exactly where you want to be as a Terran mech player. That's true. Duffy is able to is starting to kind of get what he wants. Yeah, he hasn't been able to do the damage, but neither has GG Machine. Killing a couple of battle cruisers, yes, huge. Not gonna lie, but at the same time, he's got that fourth base up. He can afford a couple of losses. Yeah, and the hype. So hype tech is finally finishing up now too, which is good. Oh, and Festers is a nice touch. I got a lot of upgrades finishing. That's a really good timing for all these upgrades to be finishing up. Infernal pre igniters coming. One of the best upgrades in my <laughs> opinion for Terran Mech. You're gonna go, Mech. You want it? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, fungal. No way of capitalizing on it, but fungo. Does fungo prevent teleportation? Bellcast? Yeah. Hmm. I need up all of the cyclones here, which is pretty nice. Yeah, cyclones are painful to lose. I crave the shoe shiner. Welcome to the finals. Um, yeah, just keeping up the Corruptor numbers. He hasn't gotten this overwhelming Corruptor number yet. Yeah. The Yamato's been pretty and good. No teleports available. No teleports available. Ooh, an awesome Biles. Bile down a battle cruiser. That's there always... There we go. Yeah. That's always painful. And now this is where things get a little problematic for our Terran player. Yeah, I think definitely lost his power spike losing all the battle cruisers there. Yeah, I mean, look how much his supply dropped in that fight. Supply dropped a lot. 
Yeah, it went from like relatively competitive to. <laughs> no. It's gonna be difficult. This is gonna be a challenge. I'm trying to get some work done with these cyclones here, but. Surprisingly, no doors. Doors are usually a very good add on for uh, mech. Yeah, maybe we'll see a Thor transition. We got some Liberators on the way, which would be nice. Oh, and a nice Ling run by here, though. Ling run by, yeah. Look at that. Oh, man. That's just... 13 SCVs. 14 SCVs, no big deal. He doesn't have Adrenal Glands yet. GG is called. He knows he just doesn't have enough. Yeah. GG. Oh. Congratulations, GG Machine.